pictures, p words and pictures, because everybody likes a bit of, a bit of both. Mm -hmm. And I think for some of these stitches, it's a lot easier to follow in in kind of picture format. So you've got pictures on absolutely everything. I love it, but of course we will elaborate as the hour goes. Nearly twenty percent of the stock has gone on the cut work. Ten percent so, like yeah. a minute ago. We're well, not even like two minutes in. What's well, coming? Oh, well, they're collectibles, <laughs> and that's what lots of you they, been they, doing. People do collect them, and they and I think that if you think about it in the way of if you went to an embroidery class. Mm -hmm. And you signed up for, say, a, a set of six yeah. embroidery classes. That would, co I mean, it depends Good on where you are in the country, yeah, yeah. but it could cost you an awful lot of money. And you will not learn as many stitches, maybe, as you would learn within these. Now, there's Good an point. awful lot within within each and of these. And you've got, in every single one of the stitcheries, you've got six projects to be working on. So there's yes, lots so of Yes, so you've got learn. six individual projects. So for this one, it teaches you the two different ways that you can do cut work. It's got a larger panel there to, to use with uh, applique behind it okay. because um, something that large, you do need to put something behind it to stabilise it because mm -hmm. I'll show you the sample that I've got here that's been worked. It goes all flimsy. It goes a bit floppy and flimsy. So that one is actually designed for applique work. So we'll show you that as well in a second. This one here, this is for um, just doing irregular shapes okay. and working things in, in irregular shapes. And the sizes that we've given you on there are probably about the maximum you can get away with okay. without everything going a little bit floppy. This one here is not about cutting out the shapes, it's about cutting out those two grey areas there oh, to right, make okay. the cutting out the background mm -hmm. rather than cutting out the yeah. shapes, which is something slightly different again. This one here, this one is all, it looks like almost a stained glass window and it kind of is getting you to use those spans so you can cut out that whole expanse at the back there. So we'll, we'll show that one a little bit later because I've just about got stitched around so we can chop that out. Okay. And this butterfly one, that's your 3D work. So what you'll be able to do is you create two lines of stitching. I've left mine, there's different options on this so you can do, um, you can stitch around the grey line or you can stitch a little bit further in and just leave that line in the center so you can get really really tight work mm -hmm. or you can have a little bit more of a gap so we'll show you that in it when we get to demo very well. very busy for that particularly um particular one so if you're wanting that one details on your screen um at 424488 don't forget we've got two brand new ones and i've got the stain um oh, the stain yes stitch, the, the chain, chain stitch, stitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's gonna happen it's gonna it's happen good today. the chain <laughs> stitch and again right. similar sort of idea the panel comes to you flat and you'll talk to us about how we get it into the book format yes yeah. okay so i'll show you that again at a demo because we've got some that are already cut up so this one is cable chain stitch okay and then this one is it's called a salon stitch and it kind of resembles knitting does it so it's really clever. really cute and really really nice to have a go at so we've given you kind of just four little squares so you can have a little play with mm -hmm. it and experiment with different spacings i love this one pick your favorite and then put your favorite onto the jumper so you're <laughs> using kind of an irregular shape there to Lovely. use that like the butterfly. using a twisted chain on the butterfly very very nice i mean that's that is uh, the ones on the jumper it's technically called salon stitch okay but uh, fine this is so nice this is a, what's called a heavy chain or a double chain Beautiful. stitch and what you've got down the side is you've got your four lines to experiment with different weights of thread different spacings mm -hmm. And then this just looks so beautiful. Doesn't that look gorgeous. The texture that you've got with that incredible tool. It's really solid, that and heavy chain. It's get fantastic. And you printed stitch. panel as well. You do. And the printed panels on the back are for you just to have a bit of a play with. So take the techniques that you've learned mm -hmm. in the rest of it and then fill in the back. Just a bit of a play. Um, needless to say, we've got queues on those phone lines, so if you want to place your order and you can get onto the website, then perhaps place your order that way. <laughs> Don't forget, we've got some brand new packaging for the original stitching that we have. talked about as well. So if you are thinking of giving these as a gift to somebody, then check those out on the website. Um, but everything's on the website. Literally everything, including some fabulous panels that you might like to invest in to perhaps um, work as panels within quilts and things like that. Check out on the website. There's loads there. Hayley's with us for two shows today. A little bit later on, we're going to be doing some applique, so you can see that featuring um, there on the website too yeah. as well. So we've got lots and so lots of One we're doing up. a little bit later. That one's all machine stitching. Okay. And we're using uh, one of the silhouette cutting machines. Ooh. We've got some fantastic applique files for you. So Lovely. really exciting. Okay. So if anything you fancy adding into your basket, if you want your erasable pens, they are there. Threads, you've got those there. And of course, as we always know, Heidi, she's bringing us lots of fabulous fabrics to help you extend the use of your um, stitcheries and perhaps those panels that we've got. Busy, busy, busy. It's good to have your company. And if you've got any questions that you want to ask, you know how to get in touch. Studio at achanda.com. And also, if you've got any photos, perhaps of um, previously stitched out stitcheries, oh, that's we've, not easy We've to had say. some beautiful pictures of ones that people have actually stitched. So, uh, yeah, if you've got ones, I'd love to see them. Love mm -hmm. to see them. So, 
I'm Tell working on the cut to. work at the minute, and the cut work, um, it gives you a couple of options on stitches. I'm currently using a blanket, well, blanket stitch. When you blanket stitch really close together, it's called a, a buttonhole stitch. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what I'm using on here. So I'm taking from my previous stitch, almost right next to it, going down, and then, because it's, normally I would do it as a, as a stitch rather than stabbing it up and down. Mm -hmm. But because of uh, the fact I'm going quite a small span, it's difficult to get the needle in and back out again okay. within that short space. So I'm going okay. down and I'm, seeing, I'm holding this top one out of the way. I'm just going to twist that a little bit so you can see a bit better. Okay. There you go. And then I'm coming up in that loop. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you Look go. And that's that your perfect. buttonhole stitch. So you would do that all the way along these edges. And then these pieces that we've got spanned here, yes. I'm quickly going to show you how to do one of those. Okay. Because then we're going to cut all of the background out. Right. Okay. So the way that I'm doing I'm doing a slightly different colour. I've got about three needles on the go here because I'm still <laughs> sewing other bits at the same time. And the nature of a, a buttonhole stitch is that you're going to have a hole for your button to go through. Yes, so it is. So it, what, it, it, what it should do is it should create, as you can see on here, I've got a solid edge there and I've put my solid edge there as well. So you can do it so you've got the more solid edge on the kind of inside of the piece that you're going to cut out. Now, the reason I've done that is because if I cut along there, it'll work. It'll mm -hmm. not be a problem. But... Um, because that little uh, kind of rolled edge is there, you've got an extra kind of half a millimetre, mm -hmm. which just gives you a little bit more wiggle room, it which is really, really handy. So well, lots of you taking advantage of these. Um, this one that is your cutwork. Do cut it in work. red so we can Don't see what we're doing. Don't forget your chainwork one as well. Um, now, the cutwork one, just to give you a little bit of an update with regards to this one, was that 20% of the stock? Nearly a quarter of the stock now. Busy, busy well, What we're finding is people are kind of collecting well, them as well, because it does build up into and a it's library. about a six week gap between each um, of these that you yeah, bring it's, it's actually going to go to two months okay. next year because what we've done is we've brought in a machine stitchery as well because everybody oh, yeah. asked for it. Okay. <laughs> so we did it. <laughs> but it's good because that, it gives you the, a, a practical way it of does. learning, doesn't yeah. it? Rather than and just And because they book. fold up into these really nice books, mm -hmm. then you've got it as a, a little record and what we say is as you're doing them, write on, write on the notes yeah. of, of what you've used and, and um, how you've done it because it's a great reminder and, and it's a great library of stitches. So if you've got a project that you're going to go working on and you want to have a, a look at it, you, know, you want to have think, well, can I do something different with that? You can go back through these and think, oh, that was a great stitch. That'll work beautifully for that area. For now, example, in the knots, uh, if you've got shells and mm -hmm. things like that that are on the back of there, if I just, uh, which one is it in? It's this one. You see that woven stitch oh, there would yes, make a fantastic clever, shell. Clever. Um, now, the one with the star on the front there, that is the original chain stitch one. So if you've not already stitched that one out, it might be worth adding that one into your basket too as well. Um, we've got fabulous deals with regards to these two. And don't forget, these are now coming in a fabulous packaged little kind of box. Um, so if you are thinking of giving them as a gift, they are perfect as a Christmas and gift. It, so that's it the original. Does and then come you're with going on to the next one. Everything. It comes with your threads. It comes with your needle as well. And it comes with all of your... Um, um, all the instructions. So you've I got absolutely it. everything there start to finish. So as a Christmas gift for somebody who's maybe just starting to sew, mm -hmm. then you're probably looking at the running stitch and the chain stitch. For those guys who are a little bit more advanced or, you know, people who sew quite regularly, mm -hmm. then go for one of the more intermediate or advanced ones. Um, and just as Hayley's threading a, a needle up there, let me just I'm show you through some of those so original ones. Today. Oh, bless you. The running there stitch. This is probably one of the original stitches that many of us learn how to sew with. Um, but of course, there's so many different variants and different ways of putting these together. Really creative stitch when you look at these pages. Well, that's the thing. I think most people don't really, if we turn that one on its side, you don't realise how much you can do mm. with just the running stitch. Beautiful. All these pages, of course, for you to practice, for you to get your effects with, for you to learn those skills to transfer over onto other projects as well. Um, and again, these are two different versions because each person that gets these will stitch them out slightly different to the previous one. So, for instance, here you've got your circles on that one, but on this particular one, somebody's used two different threads. So it shows you and what we've got on the other side there: different colour flowers. So everybody will have their own personal finishes with these. Um, a freedom members discounts as well, so definitely worth and them taking advantage of. All of them are kind of colours may vary threads wise.
times when, okay. when they come. So you will always get something different. And nine times out of ten, you've got bits and pieces in your, well, in your stash more anyway. Than you need, and if there? you haven't, there's a fantastic bundle from Marathon. Okay. A uh, fantastic bundle of threads. So okay. really How good. are we getting on? So I'm going to put this span in here so that we can um, create and start cutting this, this piece out here. So it's the final span I've got to put in. So I've gone top to bottom there. And now I'm coming back up just to kind of a thread or two away from where I was. Okay. There's two ways of doing this. And this is the, the second way. I'm just checking I haven't got anything tangled up, which I have. There we go. It's got so many threads in here. <laughs> I've made it look <laughs> more complicated than it is. So I'm going to come back down. So we've got uh, just a, a double span running across there. And with this one, I've got nothing on the back. I'm going to show you what okay. I'm going to do with these ones a little bit later because there's a kind of development that you can go the next step up okay. on it. So that's why I've put those in that one and I'll show you those a little bit later. But let's do this basic one first. So you can see there's no span on the back mm -hmm. of the red and there's two threads on the front. Now this one you do want to work in a hoop because some of them I say, you know, I generally pr prefer to work without a hoop but when I do it here I always work in a hoop because it's easier for Andy because he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> He likes it. <laughs> so I'm going to come back up. I'm not going to come back up exactly where I went down because it would just pull my stitch back up. I'm going okay. Just a little bit along. Lovely. And now what I'm going to do to create that span is just wrap the thread round. Okay. So we're just going to keep stitching round and round and wrapping it as we go. Just make sure it doesn't kind of turn back on itself yep. like that okay. and kind of create a, a bump. We want it nice and flat and nice and tight as well. So it's worth kind of doing a few and just giving them a little squeeze down. Love it now. Go through your screen, you'll notice that we have got those phone queues. They're up to about four minutes now. They were originally three and a half minutes, but Hayley was explaining stuff to you, so I delayed telling you. And as a result of that, they're a little bit longer than they were originally, so apologies for that. Website is a good way to get your order on the system, and then that way you haven't got to worry, because when we're as busy as we are, the last thing you want to be doing is sitting waiting for somebody to take your call when you can be sitting watching and knowing that yours are already on their way to you because you place your order online. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm all the way up, you know, putting some, some turns on and just tightening it up. I've got hair in my mouth. Eh. So, <laughs> I could have got away with that as well. I didn't realise it was on quite such a tight shot. <laughs> but this is what I mean about making sure it doesn't come back on itself. You don't want it to, to do that. You want it to be up the other way okay. so it, it stays nice and even. It's going to take me a couple of minutes to get to the top of here. I and then we're going to come back through to the back. Now one of the other important things is if you are doing a few two or three spans mm -hmm. and you get to you get to the top and then you want to go to the next one. On a curved piece like this, just make sure you don't span it like that. Okay. And you put a little running stitch across round to the okay, next one. Yeah, because if you span that, uh, then when you cut the fabric away, you're going to be left with that yes, span running yeah. side to side. So you need to make sure that there's not the kind of the front looks the same as the back. That makes is sense. what you're, you're kind of trying to go Good for. Tip. And don't forget, when you actually get your stictionary back home, when you place your order, you're going to get full comprehensive instructions there. Um, lots of tuition there, lots of ideas. But of course, ultimately, it's your stictionary. You can decide it's how you're putting this sewing together. Sewing class in a box is yeah, what it is. Very and true. every time we bring one out, it's, it's different stitches. And we've had a huge response on this because there's brand new people who are kind of brand new to hand stitching. And they're loving it because they're learning, you know, they're learning from scratch. Mm -hmm. And then we've got people who are experienced stitchers coming to us saying, I've been stitching for years, but I never knew and that this, stitch, or I've never used that stitch really in that point. way. I love it. So it's, we try and, and when we put the projects in, we try and find things that are, you know, using the stitches in a creative way, as well as providing you with at least four or five stitches, new stitches in each one. And don't forget, every single one of those stitcheries we've been chatting about got Freedom Members discounted price, bringing that price down. So rather than paying fourteen ninety nine for each one of them, you're looking at thirteen pounds and forty nine pence. Definitely makes it more an economical choice. And of course, as you grow with these, you might not get them all in one go, but you will grow. You'll perhaps invest maybe in that running stitch one, or maybe you'll be starting further through the series. It's entirely up to you you can dip in and dip out where you choose or maybe you're going to do it the other way around you're going to yeah, come I mean, in with the new ones of co course you can and uh, we'll, we'll take you through some of the finished samples so you can see all of the different stitches we've got because uh, i'm nearly at the top of this one and then i'll need a minute so if you don't mind Should going do through those review? yeah oh, so i'm nearly at the top there okay okay so make sure that that's nice and, and even nice and, balanced. and nice and tight 
as yeah. well and then I'm going to take that back through to the back okay, okay. and get that tied off now as I said if I was doing three or four of them and I was running along say my next one was spanning here yeah then I would make sure that I did a little running stitch around the edge which I was going to cover over yeah with my other stitches anyway rather than uh, just kind of jumping as a big span left to right across there does make sense so right. I'll take it across to carry there on with that then. and then I shall get this ready so we can start snipping it out okay. now if you want to take advantage of any of these deals don't forget we have got lots of different ones for you to consider one of the originals is a woven stitch and this is brilliant because you're going to learn all sorts of different techniques in there getting texture in there almost creating little feathers as well with those very clever techniques in there you'll love that one um zero four one five six two again 13 pounds and 49 pence get used to that price because that is the price that you as a freedom member will be paying for any one of these stitcheries now this one this is one of your intermediate ones this is your intermediate running stitch and again it's the one with the little fish on the front there um, I love it do take advantage of that one while you have the opportunity um, please do not miss out on any of these and we are very very busy one three nine zero three zero what else shall we tempt you with well have a look at this there this is beautiful oh, look at that printed example there you're gonna learn about feather stitch what is feather stitch well I'm not gonna tell you because you can find out in the stitchery four four five three two eight thirteen pounds and forty nine pence and of course these are all gonna add to that stitching encyclopedia that um, Hayley has brought to us with Crass the Self Silly. Now the cut work is one of the latest ones. This is one of the ones that we're launching today during this hour and already a third of the stock has gone. It's the one with the gorgeous, it's almost like a, a water lily sitting on the front of the cover there. Um, you've got lots of different panels with regards to these. So you've got six panels as you will see. It's a very clever way of actually putting these together to turn them into your book. But ultimately you've got kind of six classes within here. So you can see you've got that outline that's stitched down, not stitched down, printed down ready for you to stitch upon um, up on top of then you've got your larger pieces here you've got your hearts there your circles and then of course you've got this one here where you've got that gorgeous floral um, composition there where the idea is you're creating your flowers but then you're cutting away that bit in between it's almost like you're making your own lace with these of course we've left Hayley working with that segment there, that gorgeous picture as you can see there it's almost like a stained glass window there and of course what you could be doing is actually putting fabrics behind those if you wanted to and then how about three-dimensional aspects Often with our die cutting and our um, paper crafting, we talk about pinching those butterflies' wings up, lifting them out. But we do that with paper and card. Who would have thought you could actually do it with your fabrics too as well? Hayley's going to show us how to do that. And of course, you are getting your skeins of threads. Now, your skeins um, will vary, um, but it, with these, it's just about learning. So I'm sure you will have lots within your stash as well at home. So of course, you can substitute those colours if you so choose. But it's all about learning those stitches. So to be honest, the colours I wouldn't worry too much about because you're going to gain that knowledge. Of course, you're going to get that printed panel as well. So if you do fancy using some of those techniques that you've learnt within there, then you can do as well. And needless to say, comprehensive instructions. Brilliant instructions that are going to take you step by step through all of those stitches. So even if this is the first one that you've picked up to have a go at, then you know that you're going to be in a safe pair of hands. 424, 488, oh, nearly 40% of the stock has gone of that one. Wow, very, very busy for that one. Add that one into your basket. Lots of you adding that one in alongside your intermediate chain stitch. Again, this is another new one. This one, again, 30% of the stock has gone. We've not seen this one in close detail, but this is a very clever stitchery too. Got your tree sitting on the front there, so you know that you'll be able to differentiate that from your others. You're going to learn how to create some fabulous stitches within here. Again, the instructions helping you. So you're going to be able to learn how to do those different chain stitches to give you knitted effects, to give you different types of fills. As Hayley said earlier on, she's spoken to people who have been stitching all their lives and come across stitches that they never knew existed or different ways of using those stitches that they already have in their knowledge. Lots and lots of different elements within here. Again, six different panels for you to craft with, six different fabulous layouts for you to get crafting with. Again, your threads are going to be included and again, those full comprehensive instructions. If you're wanting to take advantage of this particular one, then 618439 is the all-important item number. If you're wanting to get hold of these, pop it into your basket, perhaps alongside that cut work. But before you check out your baskets, if you've experienced the stitcheries and you're thinking, do you know what, I know somebody else who would love those, why not consider getting them those as a gift? Because we've got some new packaging with those original ones. The last two, they're not going to come in this kind of packaging because the rollout hasn't caught up in time. But if you're giving these as a gift for somebody, then this is the perfect way of presenting these to them. Very clever packaging with these two as well. So 
Each of the original stitcheries are here. So where am I? We've got, should we go with this one at the top here, the feather stitch, just to show you. Um, down at the bottom of the screen, you have got the details for this one. So you can see there a little bit of an insight as to what you're going to be able to create with them. But the packaging is very clever. Look at that, it folds out. So all those instructions are there. So that means that you can go back and revisit that at any time, knowing for the feather stitch, that is almost like your glossary. And then don't forget, you are going to have your panels that you're going to be stitching out to work alongside those. Very, very clever design. Do like that. Fabulous packaging. And as time goes on, they will all come in this packaging um, with just a little bit of catch up. Now, of course, with our panels, we've been talking about Freedom Members discounted prizes. Whoops, a daisy, nearly they all went. Um, and how do you become a Freedom Member? Well, let me enlighten you. It couldn't be simpler. All you need is the item number 888888, and you can become a Freedom Member. £6.97 pence being your price and for that you're going to get your unlimited standard delivery you're also going to be able to take advantage of membership discounts just like um, the discounts we're talking about during this hour now on the screen there you can see the details with regard to UK membership but if you're watching from Europe or overseas further afield perhaps you're watching from America you can become a freedom member too as well just check out on the website because we've got different payments dependent on whereabouts you are based but all the same benefits wherever you are so take advantage of those and you can take advantage of those discounts um, at the same time as placing your order you'll see it's one of those options as you come to check out your basket busy 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 you right i know there. yes well i was a bit overzealous with my snipping okay oh, uh, i was a little bit overzealous with my snipping but i'm going to show you how to fix it because i think uh, I, I, you know, i'm quite to happy know, actually, to make yeah, mistakes yeah. Uh, live on the telly because i think that if I make them, you'll make them, well, and it's good it. to know how to fix it. And I, so. uh, with all due respect, I would rather you make the mistake and show me what to do <laughs> than me make the mistake at home and then suddenly think, panic, what do I do? I was snipping too quickly, okay. and I actually unsnipped one oh. of my spans. All right, okay. See, I unsnipped one of my spans because I was snipping too quickly. So, to fix it, okay. what I'm going to do is on the back here, I've got um, just half of the threads. I've got three threads rather than the six um, oh, so strands okay, so out of the floss. Yeah. So from there, uh, I'm going to take it through the bottom of the knot okay. that I had and just bring it back down. I'm going to, I left a light, nice long tail mm -hmm. so I can tie it first okay. and then I'm just going to put a few additional stitches in to just solidify that up. So I'm coming up to there and then again through the bottom of the knot on the back. And that will tie, ooh, tack it ooh, back down. Back in place. So if it never happens. Hey, look at that. <laughs> That's a really useful tip. Oops, put that one back under. There you go. So yeah, I was a bit over overzealous with my snipping. Okay. It was my fault. So um, what, what, the, what you can see what we're trying to achieve there, we're actually taking the background out. So I'm taking off all of these excess bits. And what sort of scissors should we be using with you, these? Right, you need a nice sharp, nice small pair of scissors because okay. what you'll find is you'll take the majority of the, the fabric out mm -hmm. and then you'll probably come back around. See, I've taken the majority of the fabric. I'm trying to put it against my jeans so you can see behind it. Don't cut your jeans, um, will you? Oh, I've done worse. <laughs> I've sewn things. To, I've, I've got one pair of pyjama bottoms where I've actually uh, got a just a little hole in them because I sewed something to them and I was quite far through the thing and I was like, no, I'm picking that. pyjamas. <laughs> uh, I still use them. I don't think there's any problem with that. So um, you're going to need a really small, really sharp pair of scissors. So okay. what I would recommend doing is taking the kind of bulk out mm -hmm. first. It's very difficult to do upside down and back to the front. And then if you flip it onto the back, because what you'll see is these bits kind of overhang the top. Okay. So if I flip that onto the back, oh, yes, I, I can kind mean. of pull it, I can manipulate it back out of the way, mm -hmm. like I have done on these, and then just take a small pair of scissors in. Snip off the frilly bits. And just slip off those fluffy bits. Right, makes sense. And then when I tip that back to the front, you see that's the bit I've just smoothed the mat, the white out of the way. There you go. Wow. You can see it neatens it right up. It does, does so it? So it does take a little bit of time, the cut work, because you do have to kind of work mm -hmm. at cutting those bits out. But definitely worth it. 
definitely worth I it. I love it. Now, of course, it's proved to be one of the most popular stitcheries during this hour. It's not surprising because it's one of the latest ones. We've got two brand new ones to you, um, including the cutwork, the details of which are up on your screen. 424-488. If you fancy adding that one into your basket, then please do so. 14.99 being your regular price, but as a Freedom member, you've got a oh, discounted price yes. down. Um, and so, yeah, whichever way you're getting hold of these, just make sure that you do. do you know, what we, we have got coming is blooming hoops without this bit. Oh, yes. Blooming yeah. hoops without this bit because this is the bane of my life oh you catch everything on <laughs> catch them, everything on them. Yeah. but i've got some i've had some made and they kind of go up and across and down with a little twiddly thing in the middle so oh. you don't get stuff caught in them very better clever. but not yet you can't have them until i get back that's what away. you could have had but yes that's what you could have won <laughs> <laughs> so what are we up to next okay so i've got the chain stitch one out now what do you fancy do you fancy Ooh. uh the the heavy or double chain yeah which is this one here or do you fancy low and how to knit jumpers <laughs> <laughs> i must admit i'm intrigued by the, the jumpers jump bit. okay yeah, let's I do am jumpers by that. let's move this out of the way give you sorry i made a right mess no, yeah, okay don't worry i'm not very neat that's all and right. tidy as long as you're comfortable that's the main thing right let me just pop that back on there oops get that one out of the way and we're gonna i'll just do it on this little square here okay. so we can see oh. Oh, nice is that the that. idea behind those little squares? Those little just quite practice. practice spaces. It's practice bits because if I show you uh, one of the other ones that's done, there you go. Now, that one's been done quite densely, but where the other one that you've got mm. there, Claire's actually tried all sorts of different ways on hers. I don't think this bit's going to be quite very long clever. Enough, I mean, have a look at these. It is literally like a knitted jumper within that square. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like this before. Have a look okay. at that. It, it's like you've been, I've seen knitting done on cocktail sticks before now to go on the front of cards and things okay. like that. But that is so, so clever. Well, you could easily do this to go on the front of a card. It, yeah. All it would require is you, you need a, a, a line to start you off. Okay. Now, Heather's not done that. She's managed to do it with just a, a just span a pocket. across the top and she's created a little pocket. <laughs> but I prefer to put a little running stitch okay. along the top. So that's what we're starting off with. Yeah, so we're just going to put a little running stitch along the top. Now, do you need to make sure that this thread is the same colour as your finished project or can you it be can, anything? It, well, it, it depends. If you have a look at the one that I've done, which is here, there you go. Because mine's quite uh, densely done, yes, you kind of can't see the purple that's okay. underneath. But that's what I've done on this because I wanted to make a striped jumper. Nice. And I think uh, you know Claire's done really well to to run that whole span, and it's got a really nice effect from it. But if you're working something more densely and you want those stripes to stay fairly even, then you might be advised to keep so putting clever. keep putting uh, running stitches along to balance that out and keep it nice and even. Okay. okay. I should have put this in first, man. That's okay, don't worry. What a pillow. Um, don't forget, this is one of the latest stitchinaries. We've got lots These more things to think ones. about. These are brand new. The one on your screen and the one at the bottom of your screen, both the latest editions. You've got others that you can be checking out beforehand. I think there's been it's a seven previous to the, no eight prior to this uh, one. Yes, one, two, there are. three, four, five, so, six, um, seven, eight prior the, to it. Uh, there's some fantastic techniques in all of these. If you want to kind of continue picking and flicking while shall I'm I doing this these? running stitch, yeah, that no would be problem. amazing. Where shall we start? Um, Where have we got on the details on the screen? Start, so, go for the feather because that's quite a nice well, one. I must admit, this, I mean, and that makes it nice and easy. Feather, <laughs> birds, there you go, straight away with your yeah, kind of It kind of loses the, the relevance after that. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's where the logic ended. Yes, yes, that was it. There was only one tiny piece of logic and I used it all up. And then, <laughs> well, yeah. um, Again, very similar um, to the others where you have got your big panel. So, of course, you've got all your big panel here with all of your different um, elements right. in here. Different so you little start classes. off with your, uh, your kind of traditional feather stitch. And what it does, it, it kind of teaches you uh, the basic feather stitch, stepping it in and out in steps. And then getting you to play with, uh, you know, distance. So they're practice lines, essentially. Like you know, it's like, like writing. They're Par practice lines. Parallel lines there to help you on your way. And then it takes that same stitch and tells you how to kind of work it in, a, in a, an oval or a circle. Mm -hmm. And in the instructions it says, if you are going to do this, how many divisions or how many um, sections your oval or circle needs to be divided okay, into yeah. So, yeah, to get sense. it to be a continuous stitch and I guess because you want if you balance. yeah mm -hmm. because if you think about it it's it's a kind of three-part stitch there's the far left far right and the center mm -hmm. and you've got to make sure that it comes kind of back round and finishes on itself okay, so I'm just going to swap thread oh, colors look at this how effective is that that's then? a fly stitch 
and that's uh, done as a Christmas tree. Now, I've done it with the branches going one way in one of the other samples. Heather's done it with branches going in the opposite direction, oh, which is okay. still really, really effective. Yeah, and that is such an easy stitch to do. This one is a quill stitch, slightly different wow. again, longer. And this one's a slightly more difficult project because you're having to work in curves and sometimes add the odd extra one in here and there so it really they're, they're not all the projects are not easy mm -hmm. some of them will challenge you a little bit okay. but that's kind of exactly what well, you want because it, the point. point of it is to yeah. learn so we don't make them dead easy. Now, I don't know if you can pick this up. I think you can see it on the camera. This is almost like an embossed effect with this because you've almost got your positive and your negative stepping up and stepping down from this almost like a ribbed stitch very very clever. Look at that. Oh, Andy, you're on point today. That <laughs> camera work. It won't last. Hey. <laughs> oh, how very rude. How very rude. What have we got going on here then, Hayley? Because he was helpful yesterday and that didn't last either. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, love dear. Andy, really. We do, we do. We do. This is amazing as well. Look at the neatness that you've That's got That's a crit hand stitch and that one's fantastic for leaves because it kind of crosses all the um, feather stitch ones. They kind of all have that kind of crossover yeah, element to them. And working them closer yeah. together and further apart will give you different effects. Now the cretan stitch is fantastic for leaves because of the way it crosses over and creates that kind of um, almost a vein down the mm -hmm. middle. I do like that. Um, and then of course with every single one of those <laughs> yes, like stitcheries, <laughs> <laughs> you are going to get a printed panel. Sorry, this I'm is messing freedom about. freedom to create for you so you can use that knowledge that you've gained through those other um, projects to put together in that particular one as you can see here. This is do, your feather do stitch. Do blanket. I like blanket. Do I blanket. do like blanket stitches. So we've got some finished ones of these as well. Should we have a quick yeah. flick through those as well? Brilliant. They're just variations oh. on the on the we feather one it. so you know different people have stitched them in in different ways my favorite one is the knot Lots. one is the knot that one over there here. yes now you're loving this one who doesn't love a french knot eh well mm. there's so much more though because everybody exactly. when they assume knots that's all they assume and that first page we've dealt with french knot mm -hmm. done oh, actually if it, if, uh that one that's she's got a bit freestyling on that ah, one so go oh, with that one because okay. heather's gone freestyling in hers a little bit so there you <laughs> okay. go there's your french knot so that's french knots we get you to you know experiment a sheet. use <laughs> different number of turns use different number of uh, strands in your cotton oh that's so clever. just have a little bit of a plate that's a colonial knot okay now colonial knot much more consistent in its height and its shape and it's a little bit smaller okay and you can if you're doing something like that where you're kind of filling in a lot of space mm -hmm. then the colonial knot is kind of much better for it because it's a it's a much more consistent height and shape very neat and then tidy. Your, um, I like that your one. French knot. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's a bullion knot. Wow. That's and amazing. we've used that in that project just uh, in its normal kind of straight format for you to get the hang of that one. Like and that. once you've got the hang of that one, you go on to the next one, which is using the same <gasps> one but creating curves. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I love that. So much. And then I didn't finish the bullion roses. That's okay. I we'll apologise. We'll pretend um, that never happened. And then that's the woven spider's web stitch. Amazing. Love it. And then, of course, you have got your printed panel, which yep. perhaps you'll be taking some of these techniques that you've learned to fill in things like the yeah, elements of your little seahorse there and the shells down at the bottom. Um, so, yeah, that particular one, very, very popular, this one again. Um, we will talk about how you actually put it all together to make it into your book, but of course, this is the one with the butterfly on the front there. So, if this is one that you're needing for your additional um, to your stitchery, then uh, it's the knots one. £13.49, 735237. Now, um, one of the original ones you might want to have a go at is the um, a running stitch now that you've got the concept and you understand how this works you can understand how invaluable these are we've got two different versions here and of course whichever way you stitch these is the right way because it's your journey it's where you are learning so it's like a stitch journal really yes, it's, it's yeah. you learning all the different stitches that are available yeah. learning your alphabets again this is a bit like your cancer stitch that you may well have come across previously in um, other shows that we've had here learning how to create I love this idea because it's teaching you how to get that intensity so lots and lots of raindrops here lots and lots of running stitches but then and that course, one it's, it's using uh, running stitches kind of a fill but it's yeah. using it's getting you to vary the stitch length that one hasn't got the stitch length varied on it I'll give you can you have the other is one the other one is that underneath? yes yeah Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah. Variation in stitch length and variation in kind of spacing. So yes. that one's all about spacing and how to use spacing to create different effects. 
I love it so much you're gonna learn in here and of course then you have got your projects on the back that you can create with as well love these doesn't matter which one of these you go for to be honest just go for something that you fancy learning about and as Hayley said they may challenge you but that's the whole point that's what the idea is you're gonna learn from these but then you're gonna learn new skills that you're going to be able to keep with you for many many years to come and perhaps change the way that you stitch you perhaps like some of the previous customers who didn't even know some of these stitches um, existed no. This is mm -hmm. the thing. People are kind of forgetting about mm -hmm. about stitches. So now, of course, we are here because we are launching two brand new oh, editions: the, um, the cut work um, and also the um, I forgot the intermediate running stitch, which is the one yeah. that we're working on. Uh, at the oh moment. no, intermediate chain. Intermediate sorry. chain. Sorry. Yes. Yes, I apologise. We um, because we kind of found so many stitches. Uh, well, because I do the research for these and I go through and I say, well, those work nicely together. Let's mm -hmm. put those together. And, and we found so many chain stitches and so many versions of running stitches, so many knots that that's why we've had to kind of separate them out into two or three okay. uh, sections. Because I don't know where we go after advanced. Uh, we go super advanced, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Uber. Uber stitches. Uber stitching. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So for this one, I don't know if you can, you're going to have to get in super tight. I'm trying to make it as big as I can so you can see because what you're doing is you're creating little tiny if I tip it up there you go little tiny loops okay. each time so the way that this is happening is it's coming up and over for the top okay and then you're coming back down and across your previous stitch okay I'll pull that out of the way Mm. It's kind of a, like an inward blanket stitch. It's like a salon stitch, oh, is what it's called, oh, technically called. See, I didn't so that's even know what that. we're creating. We're creating the loops. And then what happens is this one at the bottom, this line at the bottom, you want to keep your tension fairly nice and level because this line at the bottom is the next one that you stitch into. Okay. And that's how it, it starts right. to build up. So, okay. again, we're going over the top, down through the stitch. And pulling it to create that loop, so and this you one don't is to pull it too tight. No, then. this is all about tension. This okay. one, and just keeping the tension really nice and even. So up the top, down through the bottom, over your previous stitch, and then pull it through. Now, are you left-handed or right-handed, Hayley? I am right-handed. Okay, technically, so, but I know I'm all. I am a bit kind of ambidextrous. A bit both, a bit yeah, ambidextrous. So, if you are a left-handed stitcher, is there anything oh, you else? Can, no, no, no. You, could, you can either the go the opposite. You can go whatever's kind of uh, more comfortable okay. for you, because I think you know having to sew upside down and back to front and you, you become more I was say, I think you've ticked all the boxes really when yeah. you, as soon as you start stitching on there because you do get yourself into some very strange positions there you go and you can see that road starting to form now it's almost and like then a little knitting <laughs> it is it into the top. <laughs> <laughs> and then if i get to the bottom i'll come i'll get to the end and then we'll come back the other way okay. i might change colors though okay just so you can see where this because otherwise if they're all the same colour you can't see where I've been stitching. That's a good point. Right, I'll let you carry on with your rope. Thanks. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of a recap for you guys at home. Website's a place to go. Still <laughs> busy on those phone lines. Um, lots and lots for you to consider. And to be honest, add everything into your basket. You're going to have so much fun with these. Of course, you're going to learn all of those fabulous different stitches, different ways of creating your own unique fabric. Because at the end of the day, that's what you're doing, embroidering your own fabric. And then once you've got all those skills on board, then guess what? We've got some fabulous panels for you to be working with which i will tell you about in a few moments but fill your boots add those stitcheries in whether you want to go with the originals or whether you want to go right in at the end and have a go with um the uh obviously the cut work that we saw just, just a few moments ago whichever way you want to go in just get involved that is the key thing and you will collect them all as time goes on what you'll also do is collect almost like a glossary of different stitches stitches that you can use in lots of different ways so what Haley has done is she's arranged some fabulous panels that you can take those stitches on board and apply and create your own fabric so these are your doodles now your embroidered doodles are brilliant loads of people have had loads of fun with these um, and so all you need to do is jump onto the um, social media you'll see lots of these appearing now I've got to pick a mix for you you can pick any two of these eight designs doesn't have to stop there though if you want to go back in for more of them just go back in and keep adding them in as many as you want of them repeats are the same if you want so where should we start with let's start with treetops now treetops this is a tropical treetop so we've got your toucans in here you've got your toucans you've got your sloth in here now you will love these characters and if you like the look of these characters make sure you come back and join us at four o'clock this afternoon because you will see these little faces appearing later on but this is stitching we're talking about hand embroidery with these and these are beautiful 
Don't forget this kind of ombre effect where you've got one stitch going into the next. That's what one of those kind of little panels that you're going to learn within your stitchery is. You've got chain stitches, you've got to all those different glossaries of uh, stitches that you're going to be working with all coming together and you design, you create those just exactly as you want. Now this one is your treetops. Which one should we look at next? Sewing. Now the sewing one is beautiful. Let me bring this one in for you. You've got gorgeous printed elements here again. So of course you've got your base um, and it's repeated. It's kind of on that swirl. Now these are designed to be, I think they're nine and a half inches as cut at the moment, which means that you can actually put them into a quilt panel if you want to. But that's when you start adding your colours, adding your detail, getting those effects. We're busy for these. Have a look at this one. Patricia has done an amazing job with this. Look at this, she's changed the colour of the fabric, incorporating inks and paints. Love the way that you've got that realism where it looks like you have got that thread wrapped around that wooden cotton reel, as you can see here. So, so clever. Bullion stitches, running stitches, all those stitches that you are learning, you're going to transfer those skills over. As we continue with this one, oh, look at the texture that you've got with this one. Buttons being added as well, adding interest. It becomes your panel, your piece of work. For you to create and design with as you so choose then of course we've got some fabulous animal ones too as well the little dogs here sitting in their little dog houses again your blank canvas blank canvas ready for you to create but then you go in have a look at this oh how amazing is this you can incorporate little seed beads as you can see here little tiny buttons on the dog houses there it is your personal choice of course you could add to this if you wanted to there's plenty of room around the edge there so if you wanted to hand embroider perhaps your doggy's name or something like that you could do that Oh, look at these, beautiful. Now, this is quite a simplistic design with a running stitch, but how effective is that? But I think what it also illustrates is you don't have to have a vast knowledge. You don't have to be an experienced, confident stitcher to get a lot of fun out of these. Absolutely beautiful designs. Love these. Love the little noses. So, so cute. So those ones are your dogs. Now, if you're wanting to go out into the garden, perhaps the floral ones, your daisies are the ones to go for. You're liking these ones. Incidentally, if you want to go for multiples of these, because I could imagine the daisy one being one of those ones that you might want to go for a few of these because these would be feature panels within a quilt. So you could perhaps go for six of these if you wanted to, or, or three pairings. 11.99 will get you, um, you'll pick any two. So it could be two repeats of the same one. Look at that. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? And imagine the results you're going to get when you start incorporating things like your metallic threads and your variegated threads, adding your seeds, um, your beads into these two as well. Oh, you're loving this particular one. 10% of this particular one has gone as an option. And I think many of you will be going for multiples of those ones too as well, because they're definitely worth thinking about. Now, we've had our dogs, so we need to have our cats as well, don't we? Let's bring the cat one in for you. Again, lots of little elements all relating to our little furry friends here. So of course, your cats, you've got your cats there, you've got your, your little nice your balls of string or your balls of wool there too as well. And look, you've got lunch too. <laughs> so that is your blank canvas, but then you get creative. Look at this. Such a clever idea, that running stitch, creating the fur, um, building up those stitches to get the direction of where that yarn is going so it doesn't just look like a big mess. You are going to be laying down those stitches to give that um, realism that you've got. Oh, I like this. Look at this. Getting those colours involved, changing those stitches, incorporating almost the the, the fur packs of your cat, little, <laughs> little mice. They remind me, do you remember sugar mice that you used to get from the sweet shop? That's what they remind me of, little pink sugar mice. Can you still get them? Oh, I need to go off on a hunt. A little bit of bullion stitch going on here as well. And again, lots of fill stitches. You are going to learn all of these stitches with those stitcheries. But again, stripping it back, keeping it simple, using your chain stitches, your running stitches, those simplistic stitches will still give you those effects taking the time and trouble to build up these designs and this is a clever one again where a little bit of over stitching with the balls of yarn there to show that shading of where those yarns lay down so that one is your pussy cats what else have we got there christmas let's have a look at the christmas set perfect time of year to get these ones underway you can be using these table setting placemats again maybe you've got a christmas a topper that you're going to be doing with regards to your table runners I love this one because of the fluffiness that you've got with these on those snowmen. What a clever idea. Not sure how that's been done. We'll have a little chat with Hayley about that when we get back a over there. Knot. Is it a what? It's a turkey knot. A turkey knot? Yeah. A turkey knot? <laughs> Who'd have thought that turkeys knew how to knot, eh? 
There you go. You wouldn't think they'd manage it with those claws, would you? But anyway. Um, now have a look at this. A little bit of sparkly thread. Wouldn't be a Christmas panel without a bit of sparkly thread. But again, simplistic stitches showing the beauty of those designs. Absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, we've gone from fluffy snowmen. Guess what? We've got fluffy llamas. <laughs> hey, look at this. I love this. Everybody loves llamas. They're everywhere at the moment on the high street. So you've got your llamas here. You've got lots of different little elements here. You've got your cacti around too as well. You can have loads of fun with these. Oh, look at the colours. <gasps> the little baskets with these as well. Real tropical colours with these. Beautiful. And again, as we work our way through, you'll see lots of different stitches being used. And then finally, we're all fluffy llamas. Oh, look at that. Oh, these are fabulous. You can't help but give them a bit of a tickle, can you? I love these. Absolutely fabulous. So those are your llamas. Final one that we've got to share with you is your bee. Now again, your bee, have we got a plain panel here? Have they all been filled in? I think they've all been filled in. Again, learning how to put those stitches so neatly side by side as you can see there getting those stitches in place to create those little stripy bodies as you can see there your honeycombs perhaps with your chain stitch adding a few of those little seed beads to add a bit more interest and texture and then of course what you could be doing is actually putting it on with a little bit of wadding as well it gives you that squidginess that you can see and of course then you've got a panel all ready for you to put into your quilt sport for choice which ones are you going to go for? Well, for 11 99 you can go for any two of those. Now, it could be that you're going to add in a couple of those daisies. Let's add in a daisy. I like the idea of the daisies and the bumblebees side by side, because they kind of go together, don't they? Now, if I decide to go back in and add any more in, I can do. But for the two that I've got there, 11 99 Now, what I could do is add in perhaps one of those stitcheries that we've been chatting about. And because I want to get it at a Freedom Members discounted price, all I need to do is tick the box as I check out, and I can become a Freedom Member at the same time. Couldn't be simpler. Couldn't okay. be simpler. Right. Got, got about seven minutes to get extra demos in, so I'm okay. going to go and smash it. Okay. So, <laughs> we were doing the um, the salon stitch there. Yes. To create the, the chains to create the jumper. So, I've gone along that whole little row just with those loops. And then, and then I'm going to pull that. I've just shown you how to finish it. When you get to the end of that row, you want to keep it. So the um, the erasable pens are great for this because you can actually put kind of lines on. So okay. where I've taken it through there, I'm taking it through about the same point on the other side. So pulling that through. Keep now, it normally, horizontal. I would come back with my same colour and keep going. But So you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go in with the red. Okay. So if I'm going different colours, I can keep going in the in the same direction if it's easier for me. Okay. If not, and I'm going to actually turn... I'm going to do this as if I had just turned my uh, my blue thread around okay yeah. so this row here mm -hmm. now creates what was that running stitch on the top oh yeah so we're gonna go uh, we're gonna loop it around the front come down the back and over the top in the same way as you did across yeah, the top same as I did before so but I'm using that row as my running stitch so I'm gonna okay. loop it round down and over the top and again, keeping the same kind of tension so yeah. it's relatively loose. If you loose. pull it too tight, <coughs> that's, that's why I've done it. That's what you get if okay. you pull it too tight. But you want to keep it reasonably loose so you, you're not kind of making it, it stretch too far. So, oh, I've gone up the top. Oh, it's gone the wrong way. Coming back down. Hang on. But I'm glad you did that My because fault. I might have done that <coughs> at home. Yeah, so I've been cutting out the, the butterfly as well so we can get that done as well. Oh my goodness. So that's why there's little bits everywhere now. <laughs> so we're going round in a circle, down through the stitch and over the circle we've just made. Okay. There you go, one more and then we'll go and do the butterfly. So I'm oh not up sorry I nearly did it again there round you did it back to front I know. I'm upside yourself. down back to front <laughs> round <coughs> through and over your previous loop and that will start to create your knitted stitch which will create your jumpers I love it and of course that is just one of those elements yeah that's um, just one we're talking which so what we're talking about the latest one here which yes, is your so intermediate chain intermediate chain has a um, Oh, I've just forgotten what it's called, the first one. Fish stitch. No, um, do you know what? I'm going to have to check. <laughs> cable chain. Cable chain, that's I knew it. that. <laughs> uh, it's cable chain, salon stitch, 
and then again that's just using the salon stitch in a, in a different format that's a twisted chain stitch so works more or less the same as your uh, original chain stitch but instead of coming up through the same hole mm -hmm. come off to one side I and that's it. what creates and it and while i've got this on in my hand can we open this up to yes, show how you, you actually can. turn it into a book because we're not so touched on that this uh, we got from comic-con <laughs> we went to Comic Con. Visiting and this, an exhibition. <laughs> but it, yes, at an exhibition, visiting another exhibition. This is how we found this. So there were loads of little um, uh, kind of new artists. Oh, that's not gone well. There we go. Uh, loads of little artists making mini comics. Okay. And this is where we got this from. So that's your um, you, how you start. This is where you put your cut. So okay. between kind of the the second and the fourth pages you put that cut okay. and take it and fold it in half mm -hmm. like that and then if you lift the center page up just a little bit just the top still layer hang on so you're splitting the layers moving it across oh look at that it's like origami Baba! Hey, look at that and then i'm guessing you just stitch down there yeah to keep those leaves so um, i haven't stitched down the centers of mine i've just okay. gone around the edges okay and that one's done with a blanket stitch on the machine you could blanket stitch it by hand that one's just done with a straight stitch on the machine. Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, there's Simple. lots of different kind of options of how you can stitch them together. I love but what it. I, what I generally recommend is when you've got them in kind of um, the flat format like that, mm -hmm. this one's half done, so you can see, is stitch those two end pages first. Okay. And then move it and stitch these two. Okay. So it's not a difficult uh, stitch to assemble it, though. Lovely. Okay. Um, cut work, of course, I know, the I'm just going to pop this quickly back in um, a hoop. Been busy for this one. Don't forget Haley's back later on, but we're going to be doing something different during yeah, that show. So this is the different. hour for you to get hold of these. Please don't think, or we'll leave it till 4 o'clock, because we'll be looking at other things. If you want the cut work one, you need to know that well, um, at half the stock, maybe half the stock has gone of these. £14.99, pence, 424488. Add this one in alongside the intermediate chain, and then you've got both of the brand new ones. Oh, look. So with this one, what we've done is we've used the cut kind of method I, I would spend a little bit more time tidying that up okay <laughs> so if you wanted it to remain in place you could use that um technique of the spans and just put the odd one here oh, and yes, there yeah. to hold it into place but if you want it to kind of be 3d what you can do is use a stabilizer or a, um, a stiffener before you stitch it and then that will keep keep it kind of held held up held, i'll just twist it a little bit so you can see the when the pink king ladies come with it um come PVA. To, she, she do they do like a, a mix don't they half and half pva yeah. to water yeah yeah that would work as well but yeah. if you're going to do that after yeah if you're going to use a stabilizer or an iron-on job before, before. You stitch okay yeah. so you've got a couple of options with this that's why i've left it kind of half and half because you can use that that spanning technique but you'd need to do that while it was still um in in the hoop before okay. you cut the fabric away put those spans in and then that will just keep it left kind of flat like that but if you want the movement in it then you can have it obviously you would Better. probably need something behind it yeah because otherwise you've got a big hole but you could yeah of course yeah, you could and right um, by putting something behind that appliquing something behind it either stitching it while you're stitching this mm -hmm. and then you have to be super careful when you're cutting it out yeah or uh, get it on and then just a little kind of running stitch or tacking stitch mm -hmm. around the edge there to hold it in place it just gives you a, just a lovely different effect that's it. Well, we've covered a lot during this hour because, of course, you've got 12 <laughs> brand new panels over the two different books. Please don't worry. If you've only just joined us, then you're going to have all the information that you need within your pack. You're going to have your instruction sheets for how to... It's kind of, kind of serving suggestions on how to get started. It is, yeah. And we, we try and use the... Um, <coughs> excuse me. A bit of a problem, and um, We try and use the stitches in just as many different ways as we can. Uh, because sometimes you would come across and think, well, what am I going to use that for? Mm -hmm. And especially with some of the stitches that you're more familiar with, we like to use them in a different way. For example, the chain stitch mm -hmm. there, using chain stitch as a, as a fill, as a filler stitch, is something you so maybe wouldn't have done before, like but it gives you nice texture. The so knots are bit proving to be very popular during this hour as well. <laughs> you're liking the look at these. So there's, um, oh, this is where she's gone freestyling with a, a turkey knot, you see. So this one's the... This one's the, the authorised version. <laughs> <laughs> so again, you've got your French knot, your colonial knot, bullion, 
Which is the butterflies. And you will get to recognise these stitches, because the, the bullion stitch, I think, was one of the uh, a new one to me last time we were here. Yes, we but did. I recognise uh, it we in did some, some of kits. those layouts. Yes, we've got some kits that uh, just work with the, the bullion stitch there. But I think when you use that curved one, it's so Very effective. Clever. They're really, really cute. And you could do, again, you could do like um, uh, Patty had done, and use mm. your inks and things yeah. beforehand, and then just use those as, a, as an outline. Really, really punchy outline. Mm -hmm. And then you've got things like your, your woven stitches. Mm-hmm. Bullion roses, so you're using that bullion stitch. Um, this is what's been done by Heather, and what she's done for this one here, you can see it's a kind of a it's two like a colours. Pieces, yeah. It's not what she's got, she's got one strand of the pink, All right. and one strand of the cream, yeah. threaded them both through the needle, oh, and see. that's what's creating oh, that so effect. That illusion. I like that idea. Um, social media, can we see these on social media? You can. There's loads of them uh, on our Facebook. And, and what I will say is, we'll, we'll ask you in the next hour, but we're needing some help from you for Ooh. future shows in the new year. Oh, so stay um, tuned. we do, uh, we'll tell you about that in the next hour. Lovely. <laughs> so yeah, four o'clock, come back and join us both. Two Haley's again. Two um, Haley's. During that hour. Um, <laughs> uh, but stay tuned, we've got more coming up with a one day special after the break. lovely hour. Thoroughly enjoyed myself then. Gemini One Day Special coming up after the break. Time is running out on that one penultimate hour. Then we're back with Francoise and the Woodware, clear stamping and also a bit of yoghurt this afternoon. Mm. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples Crafts and my passion is in card making and three-dimensional uh, paper crafting pieces. I wear a family-run business and I just love making three-dimensional pieces and things that come to life. As well as using our products for card making, you can also use them for scrapbooking and mixed media and mixing some of your own products that you've already got in your crafty stash. I'd love you all to join us to watch us on a chander and see the demonstrations and the hints and tips that I can bring to you. Um, great for new crafters and experienced crafters as well. So make sure you don't miss the Dolly Dimples craft shows on a chander. Hi, my name's Leona. I've been into crafting for many years now. Um, as a little girl, I'd craft with mum and dad, but then obviously it stuck with me um, that much that it became my, my career. I think for me, crafting is so fun because there's always something new to learn. There's always something new to play with, and um, it's such a rewarding hobby as well. That's why I absolutely love it and recommend it to so many people. Really thrilled to be part of the Hachanda family. Really excited about seeing how it's grown, seeing how it's developed so far, and all the brand new things that I know we've got coming up. I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Touch On. Good afternoon. Yes, it's the penultimate day of our 13th birthday celebrations with Crafters Companion. Great to have your company this Saturday afternoon. Lovely Fiona's here. Yes, and the penultimate paper craft show of the event. Of the event, absolutely. There's oh. this show and there's the five o'clock final call and then that is it for paper craft. There's a threaders one tonight there though is. at six, not to miss out on. But I just love this one day special. Actually, fantastic, these aren't one they? day specials because there are three of them. There are. 
Now there you are. can buy them as pairs, and these are embossing folders, but they've also got dies inside them. So it's a die cutting embossing folder, which I think is absolute genius. And and there's not just one die in there, there's no. loads of them. No, no, we haven't made it easy on ourselves. We've taken this technology to the limit, and that's what I love about Crafter's Companion yeah. is there may be a simple way of doing it and something which would just give you like a nice shape, but no, they go that little bit further. So for example, if you have a look here at this cozy cottage, not only do you have that beautiful embossed detail but we have a huge window die which opens we have 12 or 13 i can't remember little flowers which pop out detail as well take a look at how that looks if you just cut it in white cardstock just in white cardstock and and just pop out the details. It is extraordinary, look, absolutely the, amazing. The flowers themselves have actually been cut, but they stay in the cardstock. So if you show, if I just show you the one that I'm holding here in my hands, you can see that the petals lift up, but they stay in the cardstock like butterfly wings. So they really have thought of everything. So not just one die, and they've got loads and loads of dies there in the embossing folder, and it embosses beautifully as well. It does both jobs at the same yes. time, stunningly well. This is another one that shows you. There we are. There are the petals on the flowers that are risen up a little bit. Aren't they cool? Aren't they lovely? Beautiful. Absolutely so, gorgeous. This is the first pair then. This is giving you £4 off. So you save £4 by going for this one day special, which is the uh, the Flourishing Swirls and your Cozy Cottage. Both of them £21.98 down from £25.98. So that's option number one. But hang fire, there are a few yeah. other options. Option number two is this fantastic, beautiful garden gate that you can see there. The Regal Gates, I think that's called. And also the other one is called Decadent Frame. Uh, and again, you've got multiple Both surfaces. Stunning. Look at the heart detail in the centre of that frame, in the centre of those oh, gate yeah. frames. It forms a heart. I so you could think time. that. I mean, it's lovely, isn't it? I think the more you look at that, the more you're going to see. It's a fabulous folder. I look at the Decadent Frame as well. If I just show you, this is showing you all the other elements that are dies that are cutting out those little sections there not just the main uh, design in the center of it but all the way around the outside edge all those little cutaway sections that's all in the embossing folder so it's embossing and it's die cutting you're getting both of those another four pound saving and that's seven one nine five seven four uh, and then lastly yes. this is option number three t for two and your oriental Frame? Ornamental frame? Ornamental frame. I ornamental think, frame. I believe. I don't know where oriental, but it's beautiful. <laughs> um, <laughs> ornamental, not or oriental. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of the, the mirror that the um, Wicked Witch looks yes. into in Snow White. Absolutely gorgeous. And it works landscape and portrait. It definitely. And if I show you the teapot just here, this could be <gasps> maybe invitations for tea parties or coffee mornings or whatever. Really lovely. And look, the butterfly wings, all of those are cut out as well, but they stay in the cardstock. So there's a lot going on in each embossing folder. Now, it's... A one day special. They're all three one day specials. If you though can't make your mind up between which set you want to go for, yeah. if you want to go for all six, this is what we can do for you. We'll give you the four pound off, four pound off, four pound off, twelve pound discount. We'll give you another six pound discount to say thank you for buying all six of them. Then, if you're a Freedom member, we give you ten percent off that discounted price, which takes it down to fifty three ninety five. So that's another five pound nod off. And it's also on Flexi as well. So your Flexi Freedom price is only twenty six ninety to pay today 26.98 in four weeks time and that's a delivered price okay now if you want to go for the big bundle 80 percent of the entire stock has gone it's only one o'clock in the afternoon we hope to have enough stock to last until six o'clock tonight but that all depends on you if it sells out before one, uh, before six i'm afraid that's it that's offer over but this is the big bundle that most of you want. Now, if there's one particular embossing folder that takes your fancy, you can buy them individually if you wish to. Okay, they're twelve pounds ninety-nine if you want them on their own. But the cozy cottage on its own oh, is limited wow. stock. Bottom of the screen there, twelve pounds ninety-nine pence. But most of you are going for the option that includes all six, and you'll love them. They work through any machine. Uh, and I know uh, years and years and years ago, mm. um, one other company tried to do this, and it wasn't very successful. They didn't cut that well. I can assure you, Crafters Companion have nailed it. Yeah. They emboss beautifully and they die cut beautifully every single time, a perfect result. And we'll show you how they work in a second or so as well. 828270, though, your item number. Uh, have a little look at some other fantastic cards that we've made using these embossing folders and dies.
They're gorgeous cards, aren't they? You could be making sure. those. And let's have a look at what the folders, yes. the technology So inside. just so that you can have a nose at these folders, this is your ornamental frame. If I open this up, you see all these white bits? That isn't me leaving paper in that. That is quick-release foam, which has been popped on there to enable the die cuts to come out. So every, everywhere you're seeing that, that is a die right. or a selection of dies. And in fact, I haven't cleaned that folder at the back, so let me just... Isn't that, that off amazing? With my nails. They come such a long way they because do. I remember when the first ones came out of these, you just have like a, an oval or a circle yeah. or a square in the middle, and that would be about it. But now you've got probably about I don't know a dozen dies in there. Yeah, I mean they're, they're incredible. Sorry, I'm just uh, I've got a bit of static on my folder. My nails will get rid of it. There we go. Okay, so how you do it mm -hmm. is you take your cardstock and you put it in. Yeah and fold it over. And is it a five by seven size? Five by seven. Yeah. So your, your back piece of your card stays at the back and we're just going to start running these through. I'm going to cut all six folders so okay. everybody can see. Now while Fiona's doing that, I'm just going to show you the few remaining offers that we have on our card stock. Now this is the matte mirror card that I'm holding up at the moment. Now this is on a buy one, get one free offer. It is limited stock. You're going to get not uh, 28 sheets, which is what you would normally get. You're going to get two packs, 56 sheets for 9.99. But the next few of you will be lucky. There it is. That's how it die cuts and how it in beautifully embosses. So quick, isn't it? So quick. Amazing, amazing. I'm going to carry on. Okay, 250 GSM for that one. Now, this is the mirrored card, so it's, it works in the same way. Lots of you I know in the earlier show went for both options. So you've got the matte and you've got the mirror because they all work really well. The colorways are the same. But look at the reflection you've got on the mirror card. It's top quality mirror card. This is also limited stock as well. You're going to get, again, 56 sheets as opposed to 28. That's what you'd normally get in a pack. 9.99 gets you at the moment 56, but they are going to go any minute now, any second now probably. 9.74334, and we've also got the glitter version in the same colourways as well, and that's a double offer as well. Buy one get one free. You're going to get 32 sheets. You normally get 16 for 9.99. You're going to get 32 for 9.99, and over 50% of the stock of this has gone as well. 2.39605. Matt and Mira just gone. Oh, no. We knew that would happen. Congratulations. Gosh, we gosh. do still have the glitter though. That was, quick. That. that was quick, wasn't it? Right, I'm just going to pop those through. Right. I'll show you these anyway because they are just beautiful. Oh, there we go. Oh, flicks Gee, out so easy, it doesn't does. It? it really does. I'm just going to get my pokey tool to those extra edges. There we go. There we go. But look at this one. I mean, it is so pretty. I'm going to hand this to Dave, mm. so we'll just while I poke out those other bits. There we go. And there are and loads of so those little gorgeous. areas that have been die cut beautifully. Look at that. The quality of the emboss is superb. Love the shape in the middle, but you've got all these other little areas just here which have been die cut out beautifully. That's what you would not normally expect to find on a cut and emboss folder. But this does it so, so well. Oh, those little bits there that, there we are, just pop it out with your finger or a pokey tool or whatever. Very, very detailed and very, very intricate. So, uh, yeah, lots of you going for the big bundle. Uh, that stock is dwindling quickly. 80% of the stock of the big bundle is gone. If you've ever tried cut and emboss folders before, give these a go because they yes. are going to totally surprise you. They behave in such a brilliant way. They're so accurate in what they do. The technology is superb. You get all six of them for just uh, that first flexi by payment today. Now the other one that uh, Fiona's done on the matte card, which lots of you have got in this show, this is the beautiful teapot, which obviously is a landscape card, but all those wings of the butterfly look uh, are attached, but they are able to be risen just like the petals of the flower. And normally, cut and emboss folders wouldn't give you that. They just give you yep. maybe an, an aperture in the centre and that will be it, but not with these. I mean, this is the thing that I love about this is it's so, it's so, so quick to actually do the bit which, you know, it's a quick bit. You want it to be quick because then you want to get on and decorate yep. it. You want to be getting up. Look at this, Dave. If there's a little snag in there, you can find it. But look, look at, at that. that. That's on Centura Pearl card. 
extraordinary. Look at that. So those are the fantastic gates. And I didn't even see, first time I did the show this morning, I didn't even see that heart in the middle of the gates, but there it is. So a lovely romantic gesture card too. And if you cut the gates away, it actually looks almost look like a stage, like a theatrical stage in, in the wings Absolutely. and so on. Absolutely. Superb. Beautiful. Now I'm not going to poke all dozen flowers forward just that one but take a look at that if you manage to get that matt mirror card look how beautiful that is it is extraordinary the details phenomenal see the petals on the flowers you've got flowers all the way around they're all die cut but you can keep them flat if you want to or you can poke them up so they're three-dimensional it's entirely up to you and of course the window right. opens you can have one of them open, both of them open. What scene would you be looking at? Looking into maybe, I don't know, a roaring fire in the lounge or something? Would look lovely. I just wanted to show you this. Now, this is the cardstock, which I don't think many people have found yet, but it is absolutely beautiful. This is from that pad of foiled cardstock. Which is just so, here. I mean, just before I even get some colour on it, can you see how well it's embossed? just as a card. I am going to get some colour on it, but just look how well that has embossed as a mm. card in its own right. And now I'm going to pop some colour on it. Isn't it beautiful? Now, this is the foil pad. We've got this on a half price offer as well. Um, you're getting two pads uh, at... Is it? No, you get one, don't you? You're, you're getting two, two pads. Dave. All right. It works out 27 pence per sheet, I believe. Wow. I know. Isn't 48 that ridiculous? sheets for £12.99. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, twenty-seven. I pence thought it was one pad for, for foil. Tw twelve No, both Blimey. of them. And so I mean, it's stunning. You get two. Absolutely stunning. For the price of one, unbelievable. So look, you've got silver foiling, holographic foiling on there as well, words and fonts, and then as we get towards the middle and then to the back of the paper, that one's been coloured in by Fiona, by the way. Yes. That's white foiling. I was okay. having a play. I just wanted people to see how great it looked. So there we go. So it resists when you go over it really beautiful very very gorgeous and it's just 12.99 for two pads not one which is what i thought it was earlier on uh, and actually in between shows fiona's been quite busy just kind of coloring this in to show you the sort of effects you can create so there's your white foiling there's your silver foiling and again color them in and they look fantastic isn't that brilliant 12.99 for two pads grab that deal while we've got it as well some amazing birthday deals today 821282 your item number if you'd like that one and i mean we've also got the lowest price ever on the Gemini, which I'll tell you more about in a now second. Now look, I know that's super quick and it's not dry yet, but look, can you see that? It looks, that foiling just catches where I put the colour over there and then you've got that lovely glitter card on the inside. How fabulous. Aren't they pretty? I mean, all you would need is a sentiment and a bow on that and you're ready to go. Absolutely right. Well, that is the one day special. You're going to get all three of them. Remember, I'll go through the deal in a second, but before we do go back there, I just want to remind you that the Gemini is the lowest price it's ever been. And this is the only place that we know that you can have it on three flexes. Nearly 40% of the extended delivery stock is wow. gone. Uh, delivery just after the 5th of November, you should receive your machine. £149.99. You're going to get all the plates you need. You're going to get a great collection of dies as well to get yourself started uh, multimedia dies and also or mixed media dies and also uh, thinlets as well uh, you're going to get an embossing folder as well it is 149.99 today uh, that's a delivered price if you're a freedom member and if you want to split the cost you can have flexi with our compliments it's 50 pounds today that's all you have to pay plus your pmp and then 50 pounds in four weeks and 50 pounds in eight weeks time so even if you could find it 149.99 somewhere else would you get flexi can you spread it over three payments with us you can 089 468 remember lowest price it's ever been there's never been a better time to buy a gemini machine than right here right now and we'll deliver it to your door as well a quick reminder of the one day special then we'll spin that wheel to give you a wheel deal or maybe even two wheel deals in the show this hour we might have one for freedom members we might have one for everybody we'll find out in a minute okay Quickly, then the one-day special, three options. Option number one, they are cut and emboss folders, okay? You've got your cosy cottage and your flourishing swirls. So they emboss and they cut beautifully. There you can see exactly what they will do. Add a bit of ink to them. It just comes to life. Then we have our regal gates and our decadent frame as well okay so both of those they're five by seven they cut beautifully and of course they emboss spectacularly well as well four pound off for that set as a one day special 21.98 and then finally down the end we got the t for two and your ornamental 
frame as well. Okay, so those two together, again, a four pound savings. So the best value is to go for all six. Four pounds saved there, four pounds saved there, four pounds saved there, 12 pounds saved in total. But then we give you another six pound off because we feel generous and thank you for going for all six. Then if you're a Freedom member, you get another 10% off that already heavily discounted price and we give you Flexi as well. So in a nutshell, today, all you spend, if you want to have it on Flexi is 26.98 and then 26.98 in four weeks time. And that's a delivered price because you're a Freedom Club member. Okay, 828. 270 your item number there and just to show you again a couple of the finished cards there's that ornate oval and look all of this detail and cutaway detail around the outside of the oval all that's been cut away with um, fantastic dies absolutely gorgeous dies the butterfly wings three-dimensional because the dies cut that very effectively but it's kept it in the cardstock remember uh, I'll just show you the uh, windows as well they are gorgeous too there we are so you choose whether you want to go for individuals. Doubles is where you get the £4 off as one-day specials, but you get the most money off by buying the big bundle. 828270, your item number, two flexi buys as well. OK, we're going to spin that deal wheel not once, but twice in this show in a couple of ticks. <laughs> This is the deal wheel. On each section, there's a number. That number relates to a Crafter's Companion product. And they're all great products to have. We will spin and we'll find out exactly what product is going to have a 30% discount in this show. That's what this is going to give you. 30% off a certain item. Ooh. Now, I've spun number six. What is number six? We'll give you a little look at that and we'll tell you exactly how much it's going to cost you. One is Ooh. going to be for Freedom members only. One's going to be for everyone. And we'll announce exactly which one's which in a second. So this is number six. And this is the Sarah Signature Flutterby A4 card collection. Can we check that's in stock? I don't think that one's... I, I think because we've had all of that. Uh, we've sold it out, haven't we? Aha. Uh -huh. Can we spin again? Okay. Okay. Twenty-four. Okay, so ignore the first one. We don't have any ignore stock of that. Sorry. Yeah, ignore the first one. Okay, so this is our first spin. <laughs> Twenty-four. Let's find out what this one is then. Okay, go, going very well. Uh, right, Crafters <laughs> Companion A4 luxury card stock in red and green. Thank you. Ooh. We've got that. Now that is thirteen ninety-nine. Uh, you're saving five ninety-nine. So that's the first offer, and we'll announce who's going to get that offer, whether it's everybody or whether it's Freedom, in just a second. And now you spin one the more. next one. Yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. And the next offer is... <laughs> you have to tell you what, the mice are working very hard on the mouse organ today, aren't they? Aren't they? <laughs> so, number eighteen. Now, this is for absolutely everybody. So the first offer was for Freedom members only. This, though, is the Spectrum Noir Three Sparkle Pens, the Metallics. You're saving £3.90 if you'd like to get those. You're going to get the silver, you're going to get the gold, and I think you're going to get the black, is it? Yeah, uh, and that's nine pounds and nine pence, thirty percent off, only though for this hour. So that's the one for everyone. The red and green uh, glitter card that we showed you was for Freedom members only. Okay, so those are our deals that we have in the show right here, right now. Okay, so I've I've made myself a card front. So this is a card front that I've made. So it's a piece of A4 watercolour card that I have cut down so that it is seven inches high. Yeah. And then I have scored it at one inch and two inches and then the same on the other side to make myself what will be the front of a diorama card. Okay. Okay. Because this is watercolour card, I found in my machine it needs... A little more welly, so I'm going to put in my, my metal plate mm -hmm. with my two cutting plates. So this is just going to run through and cut. Now I'm using my I'm also using my bigger my bigger Gemini plate because that's the one I remembered to bring my metal plate for. <laughs> I'm, I'm just wondering, yeah, you know, how many people are having a conversation around the lunch table at the moment going, 
you know what? I've wanted a Gemini for a long yeah. time. This is the best price it's ever been. Can I have it, please? It's on three flexes. It's yeah. 50 pound now wow. today. Maybe you got paid on Friday and you're thinking, oh, yeah, 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 okay. Maybe it's going to be the ultimate Christmas gift for someone who's fed up with doing this. And this is something I was hearing from lots of people in Glasgow over the last couple of days I was up there at the SEC. Um, and so many of you were saying, you know, thank goodness for the Gemini. Mm. I struggle with the manual machines. It's just a saving grace. But do you know, that was exactly my experience, Dave, as well, is because what I wanted to do was I wanted I'm just making a holix of that but that's okay here we go what I wanted to do was I wanted I don't know why that's okay there we go there we go it's all coming out there we are mm -hmm. good 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 right I'm just going to go in and have a little fiddle with this one now so I'll tell you what, while I do that, I'll do that in a minute. I'll poke okay. the flowers out and then I'll go back and I'll sort that one out in a second. Well, I'll tell you what, while you're doing that, let me remind everybody of the glitter card. Remember, we sold out of the matte, we have sold out of the mirrored card as well, but we do still have stock of this fantastic non-shedding glitter card, okay? It's very busy for this. This is a buy one, get one free offer. So you should normally be getting 16 sheets of glitter card for 9 99 If you order this right now, we're going to give you double the quantity. It comes beautifully boxed as well. Uh, actually, can I just show you? the packaging because it is rather than just being a, like a, a random collection of, 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 uh, of cardstock it comes like this and you're gonna get two boxes so if it is a gift for someone from the Flutterby collection that is how you'll get your glitter card um, delivered and it will come in two boxes like this 9.99 is all you're gonna be paying and you will have 32 sheets as opposed to 16 sheets 239605 I think I just that. hit a nodule in that card, because this is a watercolour card, every now and again you'll get a nodule in the card stock. All right. And I think I just hit that, but it's okay. We've got it sorted. It just needed me to go around it with my pokey tool just to get it out. So okay. that's fine. So what we're going to do is pop some gilding wax on here because I can. Mm -hmm. It is so pretty. Right. I'm just using. There we go. Now Pamela was just asked on. Um on the email, uh -huh. uh, what sandwich do you use when you're using these um, folders through the Gemini? Okay, generally it will just be your two clear, clear cutting plates, just like you would for a standard embossing folder. Right. However, as you will have seen, on occasion when I'm working with a heavier card stock, what I've done is I have popped for my machine that I'm using right here in the studio, I have popped the metal plate through. Right. Just because with that slightly more textured paper and card, that very nearly ended up on me. <laughs> with, with that slightly more textured paper and card, like this watercolour card, I've just found I'm getting a cleaner cut. Right. A cleaner cut. So start with your two clear cutting plates. That will work for nearly everything. If you have a slightly textured cardstock like I've got here and you're not getting the finish you want, add in your metal plate. Right. I mean, remember, this particular folder has die cut 13 flowers. Mm -hmm. It's embossed all of this incredible detail and those huge dies in the middle in, in one pass, mm -hmm. in one pass, you know. So it, it really is extraordinary. Let me just show you that. Look at that. Oh like that doesn't that work well gilding wax is such a hero isn't it love such it. a hero I product absolutely love it i am gonna wipe that bit up though before i carry on now you'll find that there are lots of different color golds on the website from pebio and there's a silver as well you've got um uh, renaissance gold uh empire gold antique gold as well there's loads of different ones i hope that answered was it pamela's question yeah hopefully pamela's got that and by the way that would be the same in the big gemini or the junior because right. the folders will fit through both. Okay, good. So we're going to put this colour. This is just a colour sheet. This is from the decorative papers pack. Mm -hmm. You'll also find on the website, which we've got on the show. And do remember, of course, the wheel deal offers that we've got this hour only. For Freedom members only, it's the reduction on the green and the red glitter card. Luxury card stock, that's that offer that's just there. That's saving you $5.99, just $13.99. All you have to do is put CC18 in the promo code box when you check out on the website. Um, if you are a Freedom member, you don't have to do anything, just add it into your basket. It will take that discount Fantastic. off for you automatically. The one for everyone, Freedom members and non-Freedom members, your chance to get hold of your metallic three sparkle pens. Um, oh, they're now, lovely. 
This is, you have to put CC18 in the promo code box to get this one. 521724. Only for this hour, though, £9.09 nine pence as opposed to 12 99 They are great products. They're great They pens. really are. And then I have got a whole heap of flowers that I have cut out. Now, what I did was cut out some flowers I had at home which were a similar size to the to the ones on this folder mm -hmm. but uh, i'm sure people will have loads of um die cut flowers i'm absolutely sure so now we're just going to build up some little floral bits just to go around the side so we'll start with our triangle of leaves mm -hmm. and then we'll take it from there so there's of course my there's triangle nothing stopping you i know we've put gilding wax over the embossed areas but if you wanted to painstakingly paint them or color oh, them with absolutely. your pens or something you know to make them look you know red petals or whatever you want to do in green leaves you can do that yeah i mean absolutely gorgeous there we go we're going to pop that one on there and i think i'm going to have another little flower maybe just here Why just not? here so we'll just pop that there and pop that little flower just there and then we can open our windows up a bit so that you can see the inside and then if I turn that round looking good and we pop it up I'm just being a wee bit careful because of course it hasn't quite dried yet and it says believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable that's so pretty it's gorgeous I love that Okay, now there are loads of offers to take advantage of during the show today. I'm just going to try and remember and, or remind you of the main ones that you shouldn't miss out on. Uh, we're going to have a look at the website as well. There's everything that we have available. The wheel deals are just there, so that's the red and the green cardstock for you. That's uh, 60 sheets you get, and that's for Freedom members only, and that's a special discount, of course, uh, just for this hour. That's 30% off. And then this one is the wheel deal item for the hour that's for absolutely everybody to take advantage of. You've got to put CC18 in there. That will take it down to £9.09, £9, saving you, of course, about nearly £3 off the price. Uh, and the luxury cardstock, we still have, of course, the glitter cards still left, and we've got the fantastic luxury foiled card pads. Now there's two pads here, two pads of 24 sheets in each pad for only $12.99. You should be spending double that. You're getting it for half the price you should be. And then the complete collection of the embossing and cutting folders, of course, that we've got as the one-day special today. That's what most of you are putting into your basket because it makes absolute sense to do it, doesn't it? For just £26 and a few pence, you can have all six of them delivered to your door in the next few days. And then the same uh, FlexiBuy payment comes out your account four weeks from today. Otherwise, you can buy them individually for twelve ninety nine each, or you can buy them in sets of two, which makes them officially the one-day special. Now, the one-day special is twenty one ninety eight, saves you £4 of what you should be paying for the two of them so that's one number one so if you like that idea one day special number one with the window and that lovely flourish corner that is 828270 that's that first option uh, no, that's for the six, actually. That's bottom of the screen, 719574. Uh, and then this one is option number two under the same item number, which, of course, is the gates. And also you've got that fantastic uh, decorative frame as well, all with dies in them and embossing. That's option two, saving you four pounds. And then option three is this one, which has got the beautiful teapot. Again, the centre cuts out and the uh, butterflies, the wings cut out as well. And then you've got that fantastic decadent frame there. That is, uh, again... £21.98. But for £5 more, you can have all six today. And OK, yes, you pay £26.98 again in four weeks' time, but you've got all four of them. And they cut absolutely unbelievably well. Um, this one here, for example, there we are. Look, you can see you've got little faux pearls on there as well. We've inked it too. But all of these dies don't just cut out the oval, which is what they used to do in the early days when they first got developed. You've actually got here a fantastic um, decorative frame that's cut out beautifully well by uh, probably about a dozen or maybe even more small dies that are embedded into the embossing folder. And that's the uh, frame. This is the teapot, which I know lots of you love, with the three-dimensional butterfly wings that stay in the car stop, but they just lift up beautifully. Uh, here are the gates look, which we've made into a box. Really lovely there, with a little ribbon holding the heart together. 
So I think the gate one has proved to be very popular individually as well. I'm not surprised. I love this one. This got to me. It's got a feel of Morocco about it. The the kind of aperture in the middle looks quite Moroccan in, in far as, as far as the design goes. But they're all lovely, and they are of course three. If you're going for the big bundle, you're getting three one-day specials really, or better than three one-day specials because you're going to get your four pound off, four pound off, four pound off, twelve pound saved. We'll give you another six pound discount because you're buying all six. It's our way of saying thank you. Uh, and then we give you freedom discount and if you're not a freedom member join before you buy this and you don't even pay your postage either and it's on freedom flexi if you want to spread the cost into two payments and you can be making fantastic cards just like this Yeah, not just the one day special. Remember, we're celebrating Crafters Companion's 13th birthday with amazing deals. Virtually every item in the show is on some sort of deal or another. So whatever you want to look out for, whatever you want to invest in, you're going to get a fantastic price this week. It's, uh, it's basically the 10 days that Crafters Companion kind of aim towards for the whole year. All the best offers, all the best launches, brand new products, that sort of thing. Now, also, we've got, of course, a great deal on the fantastic glitter card. Now, this is non-shed glitter card. If you're used to picking up glitter card and then finding it all over, your clothes all over your trousers all over the floor this doesn't happen with this it's actually encapsulated glitter card 50% of the stock has gone on 60% of the stock has gone you've got twice the number of sheets for the price that you should be paying for 16 you're getting 32 sheets and a box like this has got 16 in it you'll get two of these boxes you'll only be charged 9.99 and that's a delivered price if you're a freedom club member and this is the flutterby collection so you're going to get these wonderful pinks bright fuchsias purples and that lovely pistachio green as well uh, and you get 16 sheets in each box 32 sheets in total half price 239605 now we've also got this which is the luxury foil pad now i made the mistake earlier on of thinking you just get one of these you actually get two which is quite unbelievable value um, and i think we're going to be doing a demo with this in a second you can ink it you can color it however you wish the actual foiling that's done on the cardstock is, is is actually going to repel the uh the ink so you can make wonderful effects with it and it starts off with silver foiling and then as you go through it then gradually changes to holographic. You've got holographic words and script, holographic flourishes. They look like, um, like chocolates, don't they, those? Uh, then you've got your holographic butterflies as well and dots. And then at the back of the page, this is where it gets a bit difficult to see, it's actually white foil that you've got there. And again, you can do great effects with your inks. So two pads for 12 99 so it's only £6.50 per pad. And this is really thick, gorgeous quality cardstock. It really is. 250 GSM is what you've got there. And we're doing a demo with that, I think, in a second. And now also we've got lots of you coming through for the Gemini machine. Now, quite simply, if someone to say to me, Dave, when's the best price to, or when's the best time to order the Gemini, best price and all that, the answer is right now. If you've ha had someone in your, in your life, in your home, that's been saying to you for weeks or months, I'd love to get a Gemini one day, it's never been lower than 149.99. This is the lowest price it's ever been. You are getting three flexes as well. So not only can you get this for under £150 from us right now, you can have it with three flexes. So it's £50 today 
50 pounds in four weeks and 50 pounds in eight weeks time you get all the boards including your magnetic you get your embossing shim you get everything else you need all your plates and you're getting an embossing folder you're getting all those dies as well to get you started uh, many of them are, are mixed media ones though you can use them on your fabrics you can use them on your craft metals your aluminiums that sort of thing as well so it really is if you're fed up with cranking a handle like a mangle and you want to have a machine that does all the hard work for you I, I knew how good the machine was but over the last two days being in Glasgow meeting all the lovely viewers that, that came to say hello most people who came up to me were talking about the Gemini at one mm. stage saying how much they loved it and they never want to be without it it's an amazing machine lowest price and on three flexi as well 089468 I'm going to sneak in a very quick card using that lovely foil pad because it would be criminal. If you love it, it would be criminal not to get it yeah. at the price we've got it on today. Especially getting two, which I didn't oh, realise. Yeah, I mean, it is gorgeous. So I've taken the um, foil butterflies and I'm just going to go in on the edge with my dark green ink. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go around the edge with this. This is the green topaz that I'm using. So this is the Beautiful. water reactive dye. Yes. So this is the one you can splat water on for that faux bleaching. It absolutely is. So we're just going to give this a shadow just here. Just around the outside. Mm -hmm. Right. Now in real life this looks substantially it's substantially more colorful than I think it looks on TV so what I will do is just hold it up in a second so that you can see it really is a definite sort of sage green come and have a look at this come and have a look at this there, can you see? Mm. Really nice sage green and that, that card is wonderfully smooth it takes the ink Beautiful. really well but where you've got the foiling, the foiling repels the ink. Yes. So you can do all sorts of wonderful techniques with it. So then we're going to go in. I've just got some sparkle pens here. And we're just going to do, because it will repel the sparkle pens as well. Mm -hmm. So it's just going to put a little bit of the blue just there. I mean, if you, if you haven't used the sparkle pens before, do try and get some because they are fabulous to use. Now the sparkle pens that we have on the deal wheel today are at a 30% discount, black, silver and gold. You can pick up those three today, which are three core colours. It's coming up on the bottom of the screen there. There it is. Look, 521724, not 12 99 it's £9.09. And nine pence. Only for this hour or while stocks last, you've got literally uh, about 15 minutes to take advantage. No, about 20 minutes to take advantage of that offer. So I'm just going to put a dark bit there just on this layer here I mean it's gorgeous it really is lovely um, and the sparkle intensifies somewhere. more when it dries it does it does I've got my heat gun here as well so we can just give it a quick now what color is that that should have been a clear is it that I've just used it or have I just put the lid back on the wrong one well it's a pale pink anyway that okay. will do that will be fine it'll be fine It'll just give me a bluish tone. That's no problem. That's pretty. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Right, what I'm going to do is give this a quick blast to dry it and then we can hold it up and you can see. You can see it beginning yeah. to sparkle, can't you? It's when it dries, it really kind of oh, comes to Oh, it really to life. does. It catches. It absolutely catches it. So what we're going to do, as I say, this is just a very quick make because I would hate somebody to go oh well you didn't demonstrate it so I didn't see it and I know what I'm like I do like to see things mm. demoed right that'll that'll do that'll do <laughs> right now come and have a look at this come and have a look at this and hopefully you will see if I tilt that look at that wow look at so that you've got the shine, that is gorgeous shine from the foil but then you've got the sparkle from the actual sparkling ink and it's Isn't never it it's never blotchy. There's never any pa any patches where the, the spark is not there. It's very evenly distributed through the ink. Yeah, I mean it is absolutely gorgeous. It is an absolute microfine glitter. That one, really lovely. So that is going to sit there, and then I'm just going to mount this piece just on the top here mm -hmm. with my tape if I can find it. Okay. Now remember the pad. You actually get two of two pads for £12.99, £6.50 a pad. That is ridiculous. Pearl card, 12 designs. 
in four different kind of foil colorways. So you've got the, the standard silver, you've got the holographic, and then you've got my favorite is the white. I, I just think that's so lovely. Very subtle, but when you put color over the top of it, it pops. It really does. And that's I like mean, a holographic white, isn't it? They, they are. They're a holographic glitter. And I mean, it, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, absolutely stunning. I coloured a little piece in there, Dave, just because I thought it might, it might show it off a little bit better. See? Just a little bit distressing in the background. And then, did, was that... Um, what did you use there to colour that in? A little that? bit of sparkle pen, but the okay. tiniest, tiniest amount. Just a really minute amount on there. And this is it with the script. A kind of silver script in the background that works doesn't it and then there you go look isn't that great and this is what uh, fiona's just made look at that i think that's really pretty and just coloring really one of them pretty. in makes yes. it the star of the card doesn't it really it does it does i mean i think they're lovely and i think if you like this if you like your butterflies you like foil card you like foil card you can use your techniques on then wow what a price and remember we've got of course the wheel deal this hour which for everybody is the sparkle pens the silver the gold and the black and if you want and you're in the freedom club you want to take advantage of the other wheel deal that we have as well that's the green and the red festive card stock which is 13.99 down to 13.99 from 19.98 that's just for freedom members uh, and if you put that in your basket you'll automatically get that discount if you're a freedom member the system knows that it's you and will give you that discount and then sparkle pens for everybody there we are that's what you have to put cc18 in the promo code box for that will get you all of them all three for just over three pounds three pounds and three pence each which for what they do is phenomenal value for money it really is okay okay right i've lost a piece of card i was going to use but there we go no change there then so what I'm going to do is use this, this card blank. I've actually got a piece, but just so that you can see this cut, it is gorgeous. Can Absolutely I just, lovely. Can I just show you again as well? When you get your um, embossing folders home, please do not try and take that out. Don't think no. it's cardstock. It's not. It's actually a release foam. So yes. it's supposed to be in there. It's supposed to be in those. So, uh, yeah, don't think it's, it's yes. something is wrong. It's not. Absolutely. And, you know, I think people in, in the early stages did just that. Yeah. They just assumed that it needed to come out. It really doesn't. It really, really doesn't. Now look at this. Let's take this out. Oh, there we go. Come on. Right. Do you know, I'm not going to, because I've got one which is popped out here, I'm not going to sit there and pop all I mean, of this. I this one here, if I just out. put my hand behind it, or I can put something light behind it so you can see it a bit better. Look at that. All of that has been done by the tiny little dies that are in the embossing folder. Whereas normally, in the olden days of cut and, milk, cut and, uh, cut and embossed folders, you'd be lucky just to get that image in the middle. But yeah. you're getting all this other decorative detail around the outside edge, which is superb. It's lovely, isn't it? Mm. Really lovely. It and does look, everyone's saying it looks lovely, just black. It does I think they're good. right. I think they're right. But I am going, because <laughs> it's me and it's gilding wax, I am going you to go, go over it in gilding wax. I'll tell you what, I've actually got one which I'm going to use on the box which I've done with the alchemy waxes. So if you've got any of Sue Baker's mm -hmm. um, alchemy waxes, I'll show you the difference in the look there because they are just beautiful. I love this. I just think, what a pretty... Do you know, it reminds me of like a, a window you might get in an old, an old building. Yeah. That decorative, beautiful well, decorative Well, instantly Moroccans style. came yeah. to, my, to my mind when I saw that. Yeah, I mean, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? And you really don't need to be doing very much to these because they are fabulous. You don't need to do much to that at all, do you? No. It's an instant card. I mean, look at that. That is just, isn't it? Landscape and portrait, either way. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to bring in this one because if you want to ring the changes, have a play with some of the alchemy waxes that Sue brings. Doesn't that wow, look good? Wow, it does look good. Doesn't it look good? Right. Well, they're, they're on the website. I know they're not in the show, but if you have a little look at alchemy waxes, I'll just put um, imagination crafts in the search box and everything will come up so you'll see them. Right, I just need to cut myself a card Are the alchemy waxes water-based? They are, aren't they? They are. Yeah. They're water-based, so you can actually water them down and paint them on, or you can right. use them like... It's a different texture and they will dry because they're an acrylic base. So you do need to remember to um, keep your lid on those. You know, and, and use them, and once they're dry, they're, they're not going anywhere. They're really not. Okay. 
I just needed a base to mount that onto. Mm -hmm. So let me just move that over there. One, two. Ah, ha, ha. There we go. Three, four. We're all fine now. Jolly good. Let's just make sure I've cut that. Oh, look at that. Precision, huh? Mm. That looks good. Do that by eye? Yeah, more or less, well, yeah. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> more or less. <laughs> But you know what? I knew roughly what size my folder was. I knew my folder was going to be five by seven. Right. Oh, so, yeah, you know, it, it sort of, yeah, it wasn't a complete guess. I kind of knew where I was going with it. So here we go. Tape pens. Love them. Got mm -hmm. to love them. Right. So we will pop this just in there. And then we're going to now at home onto glitter card. I would use a wet glue, but as that has been hidden somewhere incredibly safe mm -hmm. today, we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to pop. Look at that detail just pop. You can actually see all the cut areas there as well, can't you? You can. Beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, mm. crafters really have excelled themselves with the designs of these folders. They are I superb. And I think this decadent one is really going to be one of those you come back to because it is just beautiful. It, it's not a particular theme. It's not a particular, um, you know, it's not going to be male or female. It's not overly ornate. It's just lovely. And do remember, of course, if there's one particular embossing folder uh, that you like the look of and you don't necessarily want to go for the whole collection, you can buy them individually. They're twelve ninety nine each. So if that is more of an option for you, you can find them on the website, pachanda.com. Uh, the Cozy Cottage, though, has just sold out on its own, oh. having said that. So that one has gone. That's the one with the arch window. Um, if, that, if someone doesn't uh, check out their basket and it bounces back in stock, I'll let you know. But the last one's just been put in someone's basket, so congratulations if you've got it. All the other ones are still available on their own for twelve ninety nine. So if you don't want to go to the commitment of a, a, a higher cost, then you can buy them on their own. I mean, they're just beautiful. And then we just make... Do you know what? I'm not even going to worry about sticking that one down. I'm going to grab this one. Mm -hmm. And then we can pop that lid onto that box. And I have just put some wet glue on that because it wasn't going to stay where I wanted it to stay. So I've just put some 3D glue on there. And we'll just pop a bow in the centre. But I think great, that is a really pretty box lid, don't you? Absolutely gorgeous. And doesn't that glitter card work well with it? It does. Very much so. Now, talking of glitter cards, um, I've got the glitter card somewhere. I don't know. down here. Hang on. <laughs> right. You've got... I'll show you the packaging as well, because it is. if it's a gift for someone, it comes beautifully boxed. Um, actually, thinking about it, six fifty for this is just too much of a bargain. Yeah. Um, if you're thinking about Christmas gifts for crafty friends, uh, you know, um, secret Santas, that sort of thing at work or wherever, um, this is perfect. Keep one yourself and then gift one. It's only... Yeah, it would be basically four ninety nine a pack because you're going to get two for nine ninety nine, and there's thirty two sheets in total, sixteen in each of them, and that's what the glitter card looks like. Age four in size, but it's non shed glitter card. It's oh. actually encapsulated, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, they call that light that light colour turquoise, but I think it's more of a pistachio. Mm. And then you've got a royal blue, a cerise, and as you say, a rose pink. Really, it's yeah. gorgeous, isn't it? Nine ninety nine gets you two packs, so that's thirty two sheets. And it's A4, and it die cuts a dream as well. And then we've got the luxury foil card pad, which I mistakenly thought was just one pad for this price. Should be. You're actually getting two for this price. Twelve ninety nine saves you twelve ninety nine, and it's got silver foiling. It's also got the, um, as you can see, the holographic foiling, and then towards the back you've got the white foiling with the holographic as well. Angle and, it down, you can see it. And better. the card is strong enough for you to use for your card bases. Yeah, two fifty. If you Jessa. just wanted to fold that and cut that and use it as a card base you absolutely can so you're going to get in total 48 sheets two pads of wow. 24 821 282 is your item number add it to your order right now 
Now, the mega monthly deal, which we hope will have in stock until the 18th of November, it all depends on, on levels of stock, obviously. This is today the lowest price this has ever been on Hachanda. And we are the only place that gives you three-way flexi-buy. We do not know of anywhere else that lets you split the cost interest-free into three payments. And that's only £50 to spend today, £50 in four weeks, and £50 in eight weeks' time. And that's a delivered price for Freedom Club members. So you'll even save on the postage as well, which is normally three. Uh, but everybody who owns this never ever goes back, never thinks, oh, I wish I kept with my manual machine. Everybody loves the Gemini. It's electronic, it really packs a punch. You're kind of looking to the future. Dies are just going to go one way, more and more intricate. And that's what the Gemini is designed to work with. The most intricate of dies. Also embossing folders, 40% uh, of the stock of that has gone. It will be dispatched just after the 5th of November. So that is only about, um, how many days is that? About a week yeah well, just over a week you I know think. when you've got Sarah selling out a monthly mega deal in two days which is what she we, did <laughs> yeah we kind of had to do something but yeah when this one's in and gone it's in and gone at that price it won't come back at that price Sarah's no. already said it will be at 17999 and also you're getting all the plates and you get a great collection of um, embossing folders and dies to get you started as well some of them are mixed media dies so you can do all your your patchworking yes. and that sort of thing too okay now look at what you can do with the one day special cut and emboss folders they they are just beautiful. You can even make lanterns out of this particular one. That's the one that we were using in the demo a few minutes ago. Yeah. Cut it out three times, it makes a wonderful triangle. Yeah, and we've lantern. got a little light in there, so you can just about see it if I angle it right. You can just see the little tea light inside just going away Cute. and giving a glow. It's lovely, isn't it? I wonder if we can take the lights down just a tiny bit so you can see that. Because you've got lots of cutaway details, so there it makes it easier to there we are. Look. Isn't that pretty? It's fab, isn't it? Imagine putting a few of them in there. It would give you a most gorgeous glow. You can buy battery-operated ones that are about so yeah. that high. That would look Perfect. lovely in there as well. Perfect. Mm. And maybe do four sides, make it into a proper lantern. It's up to you. Wonderful. Okay, twenty nine ninety seven then is your price today if you are not a Freedom member and twenty nine ninety seven in four weeks. But if you are, it goes down by a further ten percent for our fantastic embossing folders. So it's really you think of the one day special as being the best price. The actual best deal is to buy all three of them uh -huh. together because you get more discount, you get Freedom discount, and no P and P of course, and Flexi too. So it's a win win situation. I just love them. I think that looks amazing in craft card, doesn't it? With those little flowers just highlighted with the um, starlights. Absolutely gorgeous. And then you can go for something like that, which is really quite decorat decorative, to this one, which you could use for so many occasions, mm. whether it's a thinking of you card yeah, or anything. birthday wishes, whatever you fancy, really. And most of them, not all, most of them work either landscape or portrait. Yeah. Obviously, the gates won't and the window won't, but the other ones will. They're yes. all, and the teapot won't. So three of them will work landscape, portrait. The other three are designed to be the way they are. And they're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, they're absolutely delightful look at that and this is what Isn't i said before pretty? if you've got the time and the inclination and you want to color in these flowers individually rather than just putting um you know gilding wax over the top it's up to you they look lovely whichever way you do it they really do and again i love this one as well look at this where the gates have just been done and overlaid in in a matte mirror card and look at that heart the mm. detail in it is it quite extraordinary to to think that that whole card would have been cut and embossed in one pass now remember, we're going back, or Fiona will be back with the final call at five o'clock. Also, you've only got literally uh, seven minutes until the next new, star, uh, new show starts. So these deals that we spun in on the wheel earlier on are only going to be here for the next seven minutes. Or if the stock sells out before the next show starts, then that's it, off or over. This is the one for everyone, and if you've never tried these before, do invest in them. They are brilliant. You're getting today three ninety off. Nine pounds and nine pence is all you are spending for three fantastic spectrum wire sparkle pens you've got the silver you've got the gold and you've got the black as well loaded with sparkle if you've never had them before you'll, you'll be a firm fan of them just put cc18 in your promo code box when you check out and they will be on their way at that discounted price and we also wanted to give you an extra deal uh, for Freedom members as well. If you're a Freedom Club member and you would like this one, we spun this in as well. Uh, $5.99 is your saving. Add it to your basket. The system will know you're a Freedom member. It will take that down to $13.99 for you. And that's 233375 if you'd like to help to celebrate Crafters Companion's 13th birthday. Now, the Glitter Card, very, very popular and very busy. Here's the pack. You're going to get two packs of 16 sheets. Yes. 
and it die cuts a dream. Those are the colours you're going to get. So get that twice, basically, for nine pounds and ninety nine pence delivered again if you are a Freedom Club member. Um, even if you didn't have any intention of buying any card today, and you're looking at this thinking, well, that's just too good to miss out on. I always need a glitter card. I always, you know, going to reach for it. I'm always going to mm. use it. Now's your chance to get twice as much as you should be getting for that deal. Two, three, nine, six, oh five. I think that'd be perfect contemporary Christmas colours as well. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Really yeah. Alternative, lovely. Alternative, yeah. Yeah, re especially if you've got some silver glitter at home. Add that into the mix. It's going to be super. Excellent. Okay, well we only have literally a couple of minutes left on the show. Uh, let's show you uh, the foil pack as well that we have here. This is again two pads for one seriously ridiculous here. price. You should be paying twelve ninety nine for this pad alone. You're getting both. Two exactly the same. Silver foil, holographic foiling, and then you get the lovely, my favourite, the white foiling at the back, which it's is gorgeous, just there. It looks as if nothing's there. on there, but there we are, look. I just love them. I just think they are so different. And at 27 pence per A4 sheet, what an incredible, incredible thing to be able to get in. I mean, they are just stunning. That iridescent foiling is precision perfect. It really is. And when you see that, you know, even in, look at that. You can see it's like opal colours coming through yeah. there, isn't it? Absolutely Actually, that's beautiful. a good way of describing it. Like the colours of an opal, definitely. As the light hits it, they kind of surprise you. So yes. you've got the plain white foil and then you've got the holographic white foil as well. Now, lots of you coming through for the Gemini. Maybe you've had a discussion at home with your other half or yeah. a member of the family thinking, you know, I've always wanted one. Um, it makes sense. 40% of the extended delivery stock has gone with lots of you putting it in your basket right now. You know, if you're putting up with a hand crank machine, nothing wrong with them, but I think everybody gets to a point in their crafting life where they think, yeah. life's too short. Let the machine yeah. do the work for me. It takes the hassle. Maybe you've not been able to die cut for years because of uh, yeah. some sort of condition or uh, dodgy hands or something, which is what I heard a lot of people say over the weekend uh, or the two days I was in Glasgow. They swear by this because it does all the hard work for them. I mean, it, it is the most amazing machine. You're never going to see it. Sarah has said you will not see it here at a lower price and with that flexi as well. Well, even if you did find Incredible. it anywhere else for that price, would it be on three-way flexi? Could you spread the cost into three handy chunks? If you could spend 150 quid in one go, well done, congratulations. But, you know, a lot of you would like to spread the cost of presents mm. for Christmas and this oh, allows you to do it in, yeah, interest-free. <laughs> okay, Fiona's back at four. Five. Five, sorry, and I'm yoghurt-making <laughs> at three, so we'll see you a bit later on. Yeah, yoghurt making can be a hobby, and it will be a hobby this afternoon in an hour's time at three o'clock. Next, though, uh, we've got Francois here with woodware clear stamping, and then craft yourself silly. That's with Hayley a bit later at four o'clock. Achanda are yet again attending the Creative Craft Show at the NEC, commencing on the 1st until the 4th of November. You'll find us in Hall 20. Just look out for the bright pink stand. Come and meet your favourite Hachanda presenters in person and watch our live shows from our very own Hachanda Pavilion where we'll be broadcasting live four hours a day. Take part in the famous Hachanda Tombola. Watch and participate in live demonstrations and meet your favourite guest experts. All of your favourite crafting brands will be there including Clarity Stamp, Lavinia Stamps, Craft Buddy, Dawn Bibby, Powertex, Hobby Art Stamps, Tonatex, Honeydew Crafts and many more. To order your two-for-one ticket offer or to view additional ticket options, visit www.hachanda.com forward slash ICHF Birmingham today. Freedom members will also qualify for an additional 10% off. We look forward to seeing you there. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. 
Hi everyone, I'm Gordon. I'm Justin. And, and together, together we, we are Be Creative. Justin and I formed our company just under one year ago to bring you new and exciting products under the Be Creative brand. We have a fantastic relationship with Ho Chander and we love to share our ideas and creation with you, our viewers. So why not come be creative with us here, here at Ho Chander? Hello, yeah, we're here with Francoise here. We are representing the lovely Woodware Stamps as well, all designed by yourself, Francoise. Yes, yes, okay. I've been busy again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and don't stop as well. So when you're designing a stamp, do you have an idea? Does it morph and change? Or what you have an idea for, um, does it pretty much stay solid? In so sometimes I have a definite idea, okay. and then uh, other times it just develops as I'm drawing and, yeah. and coming up with ideas and things. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes there's always... Uh, maybe a theme a little bit mm. um, like this there there is this collection with the butterflies yeah. and, the, and the flowers yeah. and this is a, like a second half of a collection that I bought yeah. the first half of when we had the takeover weekend yes, yeah. so um, they all work beautifully together but again mm. if you've bought that collection they will work beautifully with that collection mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, independent today is a collection today, or if you've got good the collection during the Creative good. Exposure Takeover, then yeah. um, either way, add them into your order. And just seeing what there is, I mean, that that kaleidoscope of, of butterflies down here as well, just what you've got, I mean, that, that's such a usable stamp yeah. you can see on the finished sample as well, without even seeing the whole image. Yeah, you, you can take a section there. of it. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to, you know, because it's quite a long um, image, and you can use it... Uh, um, Portrait, landscape, whatever yeah. way you you want to use it. Um, I love sort of long, tall stamps. I think they're yeah. quite unusual because everybody tends to do sort of designs within rectangles yeah, and squares. Yeah, quite blocky. And yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah but to get that long, yeah. tall bit. And if you want it to be a square, by all means, stamp so it as, as yeah, that and then chop into do. it. Yeah, I mean you've got the choice. But that DL, that double length or that long, mm -hmm. narrow bookmark sort of shape is good. Yeah, it's really, really versatile. Yeah, it's a nice design that that kaleidoscope of butterflies mm -hmm. there. And then, I mean, that's just lending itself to be coloured. Obviously, that, yeah, that lovely it, big butterfly. Yeah, you, there. you've got a, a really sort of bold uh, image, yeah. not too complicated, but nice enough that it gives you, um, you know, would give you nice colouring yeah. period as well, which yeah. is is good. Just seeing how it could work with that lovely border stamp, the kaleidoscope of butterflies there, lovely close up, and there the butterfly that we're just mentioning just creeping into shot just that lovely open area so enough of the of the detail the stamp detail to give you that outline plus detail but mm -hmm. enough open area to come yeah. is what you're saying yeah yeah, very nice. And it's the whole bundle that we're looking at at the moment, but they are split up into to elements if you would rather. Uh, but the 16 stamps that you're getting in the whole bundle have a saving of £8.50. Um, we're approaching 60% of the stock gone after just one show uh, with Francoise earlier. And this is your second of two shows. Shows, now, yes. Isn't yep. it? Um, and then take us through some of the other uh, stamps that we've got here. We've seen our two butterflies. Okay, so you've um, got uh, yeah. the one next to the big butterfly that's yeah. uh, called Slashes. Yeah. Um, and it's really a background stamp. So yes. it's to create sort of textures in your in your background mm. um, and it's it we were talking about it this morning with Haley you can do lots yeah. of things with it you can have it as a uh, for behind a cupcake if it was like sort of hundreds and thousands yeah that sort of thing yeah, or, yeah, 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 or yeah, if yeah, you want fun. um this morning I did a, a card way I just used it in the background mm -hmm. um, it's very effective very quickly to fill in the background space you can yeah. use a section of it um, yeah. Not the whole. You don't have to use the whole stamp. Yeah. Uh, it's just perfect for backgrounds. It's a lovely one that actually that we can see. And then this next stamp that we've got as well, mixing in your florals. This is becoming a bit more of a collage now. Yeah, that's your, the, the uh, Mandela with uh, some words. Um, it's sort of got a grungy feel a little yeah. bit, so you can play around with it. But it's got elements that you can decoupage and you can yeah. section it off. Yeah. Uh, you, again, you don't have to use the whole stamp, but if you want to, yeah. it gives you a nice bold big card. Yeah. Yeah, um, to work with, and then your single butterflies up here as well, nice and solid on the yeah. on the silhouette. As but well, the, those yeah. ones uh, have got flowers added in yeah. and some little sprinkles, um, just to soften up the image mm. and to uh, make the silhouette look slightly different. So, yeah. uh, if you're really, I mean, if you uh, are into your fairy stamps or um, stamps of that nature, they can work really well with that yeah, sure. or if you um, wanting to add sort of uh, do backgrounds 
Um, I'm going to show you later on a little technique on the how mm. to uh, do a backgrounds quite quickly with them. Okay. Which is really nice. Okay, yeah, no, please do, Francois. And then, and then last but not least, we've got our, our final stunt to talk about here specifically. Uh, so you've got the the, uh, the garden with the flowers, yeah. Um, and again, that's um, slightly sort of grungy, and uh, it's got script in the background. Yeah. Um, so it you know it lends itself to either being pretty yeah. or being more grungy if you want to. And you could leave a lot of the uh, the, the length on the stems if you want. If you just want to take sort of that yeah. top area, yeah. then, then you can. Do yeah, it. you can you can, can chop, you can chop it chop the image in half when yeah. you're. Or you could stamp yeah. it twice and have a long row. Yeah, that's cool. That's a good of idea. Flowers keep, as well. Keep it yeah. Going. I mean, I love this example here. I love that one. I mean, so, just look at that. Uh, so, isn't that beautiful? You know, so that's quite simple because that butterfly is so positive and so, yeah. um, you know, nice and bold that you can use it just on its own mm. um, on a card. And I've combined it with lots of um, colours from oxides and some of the shimmer paints that we've got on today. Yeah. I've taken it through an embossing folder mm -hmm. and then I've added yeah. some. Um, the glossy bit is from some embossing powder that I've yeah. heated on the top. It's a wonderful card, though. I love it. And then that kaleidoscope of butterflies that we saw earlier on, that lovely uh, uh, silhouette design, um, you were saying how that tall, thin Didn't stamp you, you know, lends itself. Yes. To I mean, uh, if you're just card making or mm. if you're into scrapbooking, it's a really nice length to do um, a border on, yeah. on the side of a page. Yeah, and either way as well, you were saying, yeah, portrait or yeah, landscape. You can use as it well. that way or you can use it. Yeah. Both ways, or you can uh, use this way as well, so the bigger butterflies that yeah, way. Yeah, a section Love of that. it. Oh, and then the one that we were just looking at as well, with those taller flowers, nice. with a little bit of script behind it. Is, uh, that's so there's lots of layers one. going on in that card, uh, yeah. and you've got you've got um, some. I've got some stencils on the show. Yeah. Um, so I've done some stenciling uh, with inks yeah. and with crackle paste. Yeah, and then we can um, finish on that with the crackle as well. Yeah. Then, it's lovely. We should look at the stencils actually. We'll make time to do that. So yeah, you can get hold of the Big Grundle today, thirty four ninety seven for all of the sets, giving you sixteen stamps. Uh, and then there's a freedom price on it too. When you order today, you won't pay delivery and it's just thirty one forty seven uh, inclusive of delivery. Two eight six five one five and that's approaching sixty percent of the stock gone uh, on that bundle already. Um, um, and then, Francois, all of your designs on the on the stamps there. Yeah. Uh, also on the stencils. Yes. So yeah. I'm, I'm sort of branching out in, into the stencil world. Yeah. Uh, which is brilliant because I can produce stencils that go with my stamps. Yeah. Um, they could go with any other stamps, but I specifically have designed them to go with this collection. Mm. Um, and you've got within some of the stencils, uh, you've got different elements. So it's almost like you're getting like mm. four stencils yeah. in one, really, because you've got sections that you can repeat. But obviously you can use the whole thing if you want to. Yeah. If you want um, to, it's already a collage yeah. effect, but if you just wanted to borrow the triangles there and there. then repeat with them, or, or this lovely sort of uh, art deco-y uh, yeah. found that, that's really nice. So, yeah, and then you've got the same process in, in the, uh, one of the other stencils as well. Yeah. Again, lots of different patterns. Yeah, this would be very um, useful there for that yeah. sort of... Uh, so if you're into, like, your mixed media and maybe putting crackle paste and things onto your canvas, you can, do, you can use them for that. Mm. If you're into textiles, you could um, repeat them across a cushion cover yeah. if you wanted to have a geometric sort of feel to the cushion cover. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the flagstones which is more straightforward yes. but is a really useful background mm. as well. So I'm going to be showing that one in my first demonstration. Ooh, okay. minute, so. All right. Well, we've got all three for 10.99 plus delivery and it's 000659 to order now uh, on your stencils to coordinate with mm -hmm. Francoise's stamps that you've already uh, brought to us and designed. So you've got the both coordinating and we've got two embossing folders to mention uh, just here. Uh, and again, of course, that quality brand of Creative it's Expressions it's and Woodware, but both under the same banner. Uh, now yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's brilliant. I've got so many things to play with and yeah. to add to the stamps, which is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, we've got our two designs here. You've got the snake skin and then the brambled rose as well. And from the packaging, they're very cleverly packaged, so if I move the actual folder itself, you can see where your raised bits, bits are, are going to be, can't you? Um, there. Love these two sets. Uh, you've got eight by eight inches on the size. Uh, that's your brambled rose, a lovely repeating pattern uh, on that. And you can see here on that, this is a lovely background. Did you do that with the paints? That are on uh, the yes, well? the, the shimmer 
paints that we've got oh, on the show. Uh, what I like about these these embossing folders is they're, they're quite big, so if you want to sort of emboss the front of a card, yeah. like an 8x8 card, you can do that, yeah. which is great. Again, if you want to, you know, uh, run smaller pieces of card through the embossing folders, you've got the option to do that as well. Yeah, either or. 8x8 eight eight inches as well, so for, like you say, that 8x8 eight eight cards it's and a good doing size. the frames is perfect. So if I just again move this folder out of the way, same process, just to show you, those will be the raised bits on the folder, uh, just seeing the print on the back of the packaging there for your snake skin. I think it looks really cool. I mean, that would look brilliant with a, like a faux leather technique or an Thanks. inking, but um, look at this with like a rainbow so, effect in one of the stamps. Yeah, so that's the, the shimmer paints across the background again. Yeah. Um, so I run it through the embossing folder first and then applied my paints. You could do, you could do it the other way, but just as easy just to um, do it that way around. Yeah. Um, and I've combined it with a panel that I made with the butterflies. Uh, again, using all the shimmer paints and the rainbow colours yeah. and things. Such a happy card, that. <laughs> so uplifting, so colourful. Uh, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. That's good. I, th I thought that was it's a good, good saying to that go with the card. Because it's never perfect, <laughs> is it? Life is never... You've been waiting a long <laughs> time for life to be perfect, seriously. So, But life is wonderful. Remember that. Uh, 13 99 plus delivery to get your embossing folders there. Uh, and it's 513 -005. The shimmer paints, we've already given a mention of those, so we should probably show you a picture of them. Uh, before we get playing, um, the shimmer paints. This is one of the sets of the shimmer paints, very, very bright indeed, uh, that you've got there. 260137 uh, to order, and you're getting all four colours rose pink, green aqua, gold lime, and lemon mist. Uh, they're all 13.99 plus delivery. Uh, and then also one more set of shimmer paints, give, given that they are so uh, prominent in the samples. Uh, these are the sky color. Uh, then you've got violet, you've got pink plum, and also pearl. Pearl will be a very important one there if you want to knock uh, back a couple of the colors and to, 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 to tone to them up a little bit. I yeah. came up with a new word this morning. Pastelization. Pastelization, <laughs> I like it, yeah. All you think uh, ahead of time, maybe. If you want to pastelize so it, yeah. There's a few um, oh, yeah, backgrounds that I yeah. quickly did at lunchtime with nice. um, to sort of show off the different colours. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's on top of our set of uh, uh, crackle paints. We've got crackle paints, um, yes, got grid paste, own. and um, the gesso in a set, which is a really functional set. Yeah. Crackle it's being my favourite. Love that stencil actually. See the elements. Yeah. Uh, so you can see it, the yeah. sort of the sections of the, the stencil that I've used, yeah. and how well the colours combine together. This is so cool. Um, yeah. They're absolutely stunning, and of course you can use them on other things other than than card and, and paper. You can, if you're going to paint. Um, you know, on on say MDF, oh, and, yeah, and yeah, you want to sort yeah. of. Um, luster things up mm. then they're ideal yeah i mean that's that. the thing about creative expressions is, is no holds barred with when yeah. you're crafting you could be crafting onto any surface so many of the products are designed yeah. for that yeah so that they? i mean yeah. that's a absolute gorgeous set and then yeah. obviously with some of the colors you can intermix them to get other colors so right. the pink and the yellow will give you a lovely uh, subtle orange which okay. is really nice a tangerine type yeah. orange yeah um, and then obviously you can mix your blue into your purple, get another colour, another yeah. sort of bluey purple if you want to. So they're, yeah. they're all intermixable to make mm. more colours, if yes. you see what I mean. So. Yeah, including the pearl. Um, oh, which option is 60% gone, is it? Is it the top one that I've just held there, so two of the colours. So 60% uh, of the stock gone on that top option that we're looking at now, uh, just there, those colours there, very, very popular indeed. That's the rose pink, green aqua, gold line and the lemon mist. Uh, 260137 to get your paints uh, right now. Um, so yeah, for example, yeah. this is the so, best okay. bit. Say, Come on, let's, let's, <laughs> let's get what we can play with. let's yeah. get demonstrating. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do um, a long panel with the, um, but my, my long butterfly snap. This is what I'm eventually oh, okay. yeah. working let's hold that up. Have a look. Yeah, there you go. towards, so that you can sort of see. So it looks like you used the uh, you used a bit of a bramble rose embossing fold behind there maybe yeah. as well. Yeah, so you can see that embossed from the back. Yep. So you can sort of see that's what we're going to work towards. Nice. I'm going to show you how I achieve that. Okay. Okay. So I'm using one of my, I'm using the flagstone, flagstone stencil. Um, and I've just taped it down to the glass mat so that um, it doesn't move around too much. Um, we'll move that little fleck there. Uh, and I'm just going to randomly ink some colours through the stencil. All right. Have a look at the um, Distress Oxide inks that we're yeah, about to Yeah, they're on the show yeah. today, all the colours that I've... Um, chosen to use. Okay, we've chosen so, so this is yeah, is it, pick yeah? raspberry that I'm going to work with first. Yeah, they're all on the chest. So if you work up the, um, if you load up the website, um, they'll pop up for you. Pick raspberry is teamed up with peacock feathers. Okay, so I'm going to sort of move the stencil along, and like I said, it's quite random, so it doesn't matter where you 
end up going. So I'll move it along here so I can put a bit of pink here and then we'll shift it back so that I can put a bit of pink across there. Okay, so switching colours and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, peacock feathers. Mm -hmm. They're bundled together, they work well together. Probably two of my favourite colours from the oxides. Mm, very bright. Okay, so move the stencil along again. So what this does is it sort of eventually just blurs the image a little bit so it's not doesn't look too much like paving stones but just like more like blocks of color mm -hmm. going in and out in the background you see get a beautiful blend with these oxides don't you you do and the beauty of them going on top of the stencil is that the, the stencil almost um, acts like a blending palette. Yeah. So you get ink on the stencil, but you can sort of That's wipe that off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it helps away. the process. Love this technique of moving the stencil up and down. So you get this very gradual mm. process of yeah. building up your patterns and, you know, the equivalent of a first, second and third generation where you're getting lots of different. You can just put your stencil down, down. and put your colour down. Yeah, got, I, I, I could have just have done that. I could yeah. have just put my three colours and put them all in, sort of just kept it as it was. But yeah, this sort of because you're go, you're going to go over some white areas, which are going to make the colours change again. Yeah, these stencils are lovely. They go with your stamps that Francoise designed uh, today. She designed the stencils as well. So you're getting all three stencil designs for ten ninety nine. I want to say three stencil designs. You're getting so much more in there. It's just the flagstone that's a single design Giant. of flagstones. We've got lots of elements of all the other stencil um, uh, in there as well. Both other stencils. In fact, here they are. Yeah. Look, look. See what I mean? You get four stencils in one. So you've got like nine different designs there. It was just in that one photo. Uh, ten ninety nine to get all of them. Triple zero six five nine. Okay, so this is my background. Mm, yeah, this is really cool. See what we mean about this now, um, creating lots of different stepped areas. There's lots of perspective there. Yeah, like that. so it, it goes in and out and sort of softens the um, the hardness of the flagstones, if you start mm. it in. And that, yeah, it's lovely. That perspective. You go for us. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to stamp okay. on this background. You're stamping onto a softer surface means your, your stamps, it's like mounting your stamps, isn't it? It's the equivalent. It is, yeah. yeah. It, it sort of adds the foam. Oh, wrong set. Mm. Just That's means it. your stamps don't squish and sort of spread, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, the, the old fashioned wooden stamps, which are still used, um, always had a foam bit in between the die and the mount, the wood block. Yeah. So um, what we discovered along the way after the um, clear stamps had been out for a little while was that um, they didn't have as much give yeah so that's when people started using a yeah. foam mat i mean we started off by sort of piling up newspapers and magazines yeah. and things to give it a little uh, bit yeah a bit of give um, and then obviously some ga somebody gave came up with the idea of having uh, yes, a mat it's a soft foam mat so here's my long Butterflies. Yeah, approaching two thirds of the stock of these stamps are going. Um, you might be wondering about the pairs and the trio, how they're split, but to be honest, most people, are, if not all people, are seeing the value in the, in the bundle. Yeah, it definitely is yeah. excellent value. Yeah. Um, and you, the, you're going to be able to combine and work with all the elements together, which is, mm. is great. Yeah. So, for the next step, I'm going to do a technique called stamp kissing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to use my butterflies and I'm going to use my slashes as well mm. that I've got on there. Okay. Okay, the so slashes is the other stamp. But it's uh, yeah, it's that really cool one. That this one. one, yeah. This one here, that's the slashes that we'll be using. Uh, this is part of the bundle. Uh, it's a nice big background stamp potentially, but you don't need to use the whole thing. Uh, loved uh, your comment earlier about the, the hundreds and thousands mm -hmm. thing. It's uh, little sweeties they look like. So we're going to need plenty of ink on the stamp because it's a silhouette stamp. So I always go that little bit extra. Because you're not like you're not inking up a line stamp. It's a solid image, so it requires to have a little bit more ink on the top. Mm -hmm. And also for this technique that I'm going to show you as well. 
So you have to work reasonably quickly when you do this. Okay, and this is the kissing part. We're going to actually kiss one ah, stamp to another. Okay, so stamp kissing. Oh, I see, so you're pulling out. I'm pulling out some of the ink so oh. that I've got on my butterflies. Okay. Okay, so you can see what's come off. Yeah. And then quite quickly, I'm going to get on. And this is a little bit longer than my paper, but that's deliberate because you don't have to use the whole of the image. Nice firm pressure because it's a solid stem. Okay, and then fingers crossed, Matt, that it comes yeah, out. Yeah, definitely <laughs> fingers crossed. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, it's it been doesn't. fun getting here, but we'll see. <gasps> so what there a cool you go. Effect. Oh my okay. word. Isn't so that's that stamp kissing. That's the yeah. technical stamp kissing. That's what, thank you for showing us that. That's, that's, that's absolutely ace. Look there, we're, we're using that lovely slashes stamp uh, to just pull out the ink and then create that lovely crackle, vintage, Jeez. distressed, like, you know, I, I, I love it. They, they're taking on the look of, rather than the silhouette, they're actual right. butterflies. It's brilliant. Yeah, so, wow. you know, ideally, you need to have my stamp, but ideally, if you've got any other stamp at home, what I recommend is that you don't use anything that's got too heavy an image because you're going to remove too much. No, but this so one is a good one to have. Something that's got quite a light line image. Yeah, this is a good uh, one to have. I'd say do that. Get, yeah. get the set and be able to do that stamp, stamp kissing putting. thing. Um, you'll be stamp kissing and vintageifying. See, we can all make up words. <laughs> uh, vintageifying a lot of things uh, and a lot of different stamped images uh, there. There we are. Okay. So, what I'm going to do next is, um, so I have done exactly the same thing that I did on this one that we showed earlier on. And the only difference in, is that I've taken it through the embossing folder. Okay. okay? Now, um, just to save a little bit of time, because there's loads I want to show you, I'm not going to run that one through the embossing folder because um, you'll have seen okay. how it works. Okay, yeah. um, and you can see that that's embossed. What I want to do now is to add a little bit of paint um, from the shimmer paints. Oh yeah, you are using these. Cool. There's two different sets of okay. the shimmer paints. So I'm going for the really bright pink. Yeah. So what I should do first is give it a bit of a shake. Okay. These is are water-based just... acrylic paints, aren't yes. they? They're yeah. great for crafting different surfaces as well. Yes. It's the rose pink. Okay. And it comes out. So cool. recommendation is not to take. That's all the colours you get actually. Yes. By the way, isn't yeah. It? Yeah. So they all work, that work one very set. Well together. But really, you need both sets because then you've got the white included in. I see. Yeah, as the well. pearl. The, the pearl. pearl yeah. Things, I mean, yeah. you can start off with that one. Yeah. But if you're like me and you love paints, you'll probably want both, both sets. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> and it's really good paint as well. I mean, actually, the, you know, you've got the purple in the other one. You've got the turquoise blue in the other yeah. one. So yeah, that's, they're that's equally fun, lovely. In, as sets go. Yeah, well you can flip flip the details on your screen actually mm -hmm. to get this set as well. That's the one with the pearl in it. So you've got the purple, the lovely, uh, gorgeous plum as well. Uh, and of course that blue, don't miss out on that. Uh, that is the sky, the violet, the pink, pink plum and pearl uh, option. And the pearl, very useful for turning yeah. up your colours. So... Yeah, both very popular those sets. Approaching 60% on that other one there as well. Mm. So I don't need a lot of water because the paint is, is already mixed to uh, a nice liquid consistency. So if I put too much water in, I'll end up sort of having it too watery because it's already like a quite a, I suppose, a, a creamy consistency. Mm. So all I'm going to do now is just to add some touches of the shimmer paint to my image. I don't want to cover everything that I've done, but I just want to to add some little highlights, um, especially on top of the embossing. You can put a little bit across the butterflies as well. It's quite nice. It sort of softens the blackness of the, the butterflies. Yeah, it's a lovely coordination with your inks behind your distress inks, your, your oxides rather. Right. Yeah. Well, we, um, we always choose all the products that come into the shows. So um, I cho deliberately chose my ink pads to coordinate with the, the uh, shimmer paints as well. So everything would work yeah. uh, together. And also so that people at home can can see what they need to put together at home. So they might already have the oxide yeah. uh, pads, so they might sort of choose their shimmer colours accordingly. Yeah. 
And you're on your, uh, the, the lovely, lovely cardstock today as well, aren't you? Yeah, that's the Creative Expressions yeah. Bright White cardstock. Yeah, card they know what stock. they're doing with their cardstock too, Creative Expressions Bright White. But you get different cardstock packs as well. Um, have a little look on the, sh on the show, on the website, uh, and shop by brand as well for all your goodies with Creative Expressions. Okay, so I'm not using a fine brush, I'm using a square-ended brush so that I can just sort of, like, drag it across the top. So that dusting of colour, yeah, is it? Yeah, sort will? of dusting rather than sort of, um, you know, you don't want a, a fine detail brush because you'll be there forever. Mm. Um, and at the same time, this stops you sort of um, going into all the nooks and crannies. It's a lovely de demonstration, this one, well, because it's very inclusive to everybody, anybody watching. OK, you've put that through an embossing machine to emboss with a folder, but you don't need to have done no, that stage. No. So anybody watching today, pick up your bright white cardstock, a good ink pad, the set of stamps, stamps, maybe a set of brushes okay. potentially if you want, um, and then one of the colourful products that we've got on today's show, and you can be making something straight away, yeah. something lovely. So, uh, next on the list, this paint also um, is really nice because it dries quite quickly. Okay, okay so we'll give it just a an extra heat burst, but in minutes, it's literally dry mm. in minutes. Okay, I just wondered if, see if you hold it up to the yeah, light and yeah. shine it, Matt, you can yeah, sort of show, shimmer now. show everybody the, um, the shimmer. Yeah, you'll see that through. metallic quality, I mean, particularly over here, yes, you get it everywhere yeah. because we've put our paint everywhere, but particularly this area here is really, I mean, that's really catching the light, right. and as soon as it goes up and down, down. look at that. You can catch the uh, <gasps> yeah. sort of luster it's in the nice paint. It's a nice effect, that. It's a lovely effect. Beautiful. Yeah. Lovely. Mm. And one last layer to mm. make it pop even more. <laughs> so I'm going to take a clearing pad. In this case, it's a Versamark, but any clearing pad that, that you have. And I'm not going to squidge it. I'm just going to literally brush it across the top. Mm -hmm. okay. And hope that everything's dry. You did, uh, did blast it with your heat tool, didn't heat, you? Heat, yeah. See? It's not yeah, doing... Yeah, it's not no, coming off. There's no paint. There. So a little bit of ink, and then we're going to put some embossing. Powder. So this is just clear embossing powder. Yeah. You always tell the uh, exuberance of uh, an embosser with the size of the spoon they're using. <laughs> uh, this is a nice big spoon to get lots and lots of embossing powder. I normally it. have a tiny little spoon and I couldn't find S it. Stop making excuses <laughs> now, Francois. This is uh, it's too late. The evidence is so, before the court. Yeah, I mean, this, this, is, this shows how much I use clear embossing powder. I yeah. use use it a lot it's a good one to get actually the clear embossing powder, it is like over the top of ink as well like yeah. you know just like black ink i'm talking about to give it a shiny black, black effect so away we go so we can heat watch, it up watch this a weekend show you know people off off work maybe at home for the weekends you know haven't been uh, out and about um this is anyone watching for the first time new viewers particularly nice little treat for you now look at that coming watching through so it, the, predominantly, the because I've uh, s stroked it with the ink pad rather than squidge it, yeah. it's most of the uh, embossing powder is on the, the top of the embossing. Mm. Oh, we've had a nice email from Penny. She says, loving this demo. Thank you so much. Uh, bought both sets of paints. So thank you, Penny. That's lovely to hear from you. You love your okay, paints. You really will enjoy them. Yeah, most certainly. She so can't wait to use them. Look good for multi surfaces as well. So, Penny's not the only one get picking up the paints today, from as well. So, you know, going onto wood, MDF, onto card, uh, dry brushing, real, you know, getting in there painting. Yeah, if you, anything you want to add a, a touch of lustre to, mm. um, because they're quite transparent paints. So, yeah, they work be. really well in combination with other things underneath. Mm. So, obviously, you can go for a white background. Yeah. But if you put, if you're, say, for instance, painting it with, say, a light blue background, you can then luster it up with some of the blue paints. Just to go over the top, top, so you're adding, so you're taking the blue from the other set, I'm mixing my sets now because there are two different sets, have a look on the web for the different splits on the colours, um, but, but you're, you're adding that to, to a blue background or a darker background, you're adding your own surface then, adding your own surface shimmer to it, um, playing, overlaying, and that's thanks to the sort of, the fact they're semi-translucent, they're not completely opaque. Um, they're very nice, aren't they? Approaching limited stock on this this top set that I'm showing you. Uh, there with the green, the lemon, uh, and the lovely lovely rose as well for your pink. Uh, and that's lovely as well, Francoise. Let's Look. give that a jiggle. So yeah, let's give that a, a good jiggle in front of the camera because that is absolutely stunning. If 
I don't say so myself, even though I've produced yeah. it. No, no, you have to say that. You have to. We're too reserved, you know, these days. As well, we say, oh, no, gosh, yeah, I couldn't possibly. But it is stunning. It is really it's nice. Fun. And you've used wonderful products to do it with as well, so thanks, Mark. You can see, you know, and also where the embossing folder is quite tight through the machine, it's removed a little bit of the black, which is really nice. So it's really yeah. dist distressed it even more as well. Mm. And you can see the roses appearing behind the butterflies. Yeah, yeah, the brambled rose. Yeah, this. you can see it, see it just there. That's on our embossing folder. But this is, um, no, you know, no, no. I'm hoping to get people engaged in just in moving on from just doing one layer, yeah. but thinking about sort of what they can add to their image by adding extra layers, you know, embossing powder, um, your f embossing folders, mm. all that sort of thing. Hopefully, it'll engage people in, in trying uh, yeah, more things. Yeah, building something up, uh, isn't it? Yeah, because a lot of people have had stamps for quite a long time and stuff, yeah. and they need extra sort of help and inspiration to all sort of do extra things and get more mileage out of their, their yeah. stock. You yeah, know? all the time. You get more use out of what you're investing in already. Francois, thank you. This is why we love the demonstrations. It brings everything to life beautifully. We really appreciate it. Have a look at the web. It's hochanda.com to see all of the goodies that are on today's show. Uh, you've got your stencils. You've got your embossing folders. You've got the stamps there as well. Now, this is how the stamps break down. Uh, you've got your dreamy garden and the butterfly silhouette. You've also got the ancient mandala and then the borders, the tribal borders. Those then work with your set the three uh, stamps uh, then, and they're all in the complete collection so you've got your slashes uh, the pretty flutterby and the butterfly all of those three stamps are available in a trio but you might want to get all the stamps today indeed everybody is pretty much going for the big set yeah. uh, and that's congratulations to you for getting hold of that um, you've got your um, lovely glitter kiss as well uh, and then the white crackle and the grit pa white crackle paste rather uh, the grit paste as well as the white gesso good little triple pack that oh and then not only have you got the shimmer paints they're going fast one of them is limited stock I think uh, I, I heard earlier yeah it is now it is limited stock uh, so order as soon as you can this is the big bundle uh, right now and I would break it down and show you the pairs and the trio but do you know what pretty much everybody is getting because it's such good value you're saving five pounds and even more than that uh, with your freedom membership and we are 70% of the stock gone oh, I missed an opportunity there because I don't usually work with Emily my producer so I've got this thing I sometimes do to Liam my other producer he tells me in my ear 70% of the stock and then I make a big thing about going 17% of the stock gone and then he panics and goes no it's 70 and I'm like yeah of course it is anyway 70 70 did you like that one Francois that funny, it, get, yeah. it works <laughs> Liam produces Liam it gets him every time I mean um, we've got our wonderful now it won't work on Emily now I've rumbled myself how gorgeous is this though look at that um, the flutterby and the butterfly together in the big bundle lots of open areas uh, lots of areas to colour uh, and then strong, bold, darker lines there uh, for, for further creativity with your butterfly. Your single stamped image, I mean, that would look lovely just, just alone without any colour. And then this, the dreamy garden with those long stems and flowers at the top. Uh, and then you've got your script at the back. Would you believe it? But that's one stamp. This is Francoise's design. Francoise is doing the demonstrating for us today. This is her stamp design. And it brings us back uh, and it makes us remember what she's talking about with the whole um, layering things up. I mean, if I can show you the stamp, you know, that's encouraging us already. I mean, that's got lots of layers and elements to it anyway from its collage design. It's then up to us to add even more, and it gets that level of intrigue. It sort of keeps going and sort of draws you in. Nice, nice image, that. Um, and then there's that wonderful butterfly, that the, the border stamp here, giving you that long design. We've just seen the demonstration on how to do this uh, and get uh, very creative um, with that. Keep them as a strong silhouette or do that stamp kissing idea uh, and actually sort of take out detail using this stamp here uh, we used, didn't we? Uh, with the sort of the shard design, sort of takes away uh, those, those bits. Um, oh, and then look how it works with, the, with shifting up the colourways a little bit here. Go red, orange and maybe a bit pinkish on your sunrise and sunset um, and all of a sudden those butterflies take on a, a totally different look um, compared to what we've just seen. The cool colours replaced with the warmer colours. Adore this card. Uh, and also this is another example of how lovely that mandala design is, uh, the floral mandala. Um, isn't that a stunner? 
So we're saving five pounds here uh, on the bundle. It's been going fast all day. This is Francoise's second and final show. There's your freedom price as well, thirty-one forty-seven, yeah. including delivery to get everything you're seeing, all those stamps. Uh, it's two eight six five one five to order now. How oh, it's a big step. Uh, so you've got the stencils over here. Sorry, uh, in a minute. Yeah, look, there you go. Yeah, we're back over here. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, it's only my third day. Um, you've got your three stencils here. Triple zero six five nine to find them on the web. Um, what we love about these is that you've got your um, your, your flagstones your flagstones and then you've got four different designs in each of these stencils they're so lovely um so yeah we've seen the, the examples in um, in all of the samples so far i guess but i uh, just show you a very quick one here uh, using your butterflies um, just good at creating backdrops you know um, just there and then that's a, a lovely example again of the butterfly uh, also, if you go through with your your grit paste and your texture paste, uh, then uh, that's also going to give good effect there. Uh, if these stencils are being used for that, not just inking through, but but texturing through um, as well. I'm sure, there was another example knocking about somewhere. No, ignore me. That's no, all right. Uh, so yeah, you can get all three stencils today, uh, and they're just ten ninety nine uh, plus delivery to order. They are designed by Francoise, who's demonstrating to go with those stamps. Uh, and our next uh, set is the embossing folders. See, I didn't move that time. It wasn't. It wasn't me. I promise. Uh, you've got the two eight by eight embossing folders here. Uh, both designs are included in the bundle for thirteen ninety nine. Uh, that's the snake skin uh, set, and would you believe me if I told you I had a, a pair of faux snake skin shoes once? Uh, from time to time. Uh, so you've got that. They were faux though. They were faux. Uh, and then you've got your eight by eight look there as well on the brambled rose. Uh, that's thirteen ninety nine for the pair. Uh, to emboss your background. Francois made a lovely point earlier that they're 8 by 8 which is good, it's a good size for embossing larger areas of card and then, and then guillotine them, chop them down um, or get a, you know, an 8 by 8 frame uh, and they're, they're a good size for making an 8 by 8 card or, or smaller. Um, and then look, this is the snake skin design um, on the background there uh, giving you that wonderful example of the shimmer paints also uh, and how well that embosses. Isn't that lovely? You've got that lovely raised area. There's something about an embossing folder to add that strokeability. 513005 to get your embossing folders today and they're 1399 plus delivery. Oh, those shimmer paints, uh, they've been very busy all day uh, and these have been put together for this show. They've gone though, uh, this particular set now. Uh, don't let Francoise's stamps sell out before you get them either. Grab the stamps as soon as you can. Uh, these are the shimmer paints they've gone. Uh, the other set is hanging on in there. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll just get a picture of them for you. This is where the darker colours and the pearl is. You've got sky, uh, violet, uh, pink plum and pearl uh, there. I kind of wanted to say sky, virgin, um, um, <laughs> you, you know, uh, the other one, uh, BT, free sat as well. Uh, but no, uh, it's uh, violet, pink plum, back to free view. Uh, 595119 is your item number to order. 80% of the stock is gone uh, just on that one. So sorry about that. And then last but not least, just mentioned the Glitter Kiss. This is gorgeous stuff. Uh, it's lavender and ice cream. In fact, should we show these like live? Uh, yeah, is, that, uh, uh, is that allowed? This, this sample that I did this morning, yeah. uh, you've actually got a bit of the lavender Ooh, yeah, on the edges. you've just dusted it around the edge of that, haven't yes. you? Mm. So it's, um, I chose the colour specifically again to go with the same colour palette that we're using. Yeah. So if you want that little bit of glittery touch to your work, yeah. you can... Um, you know that that those two colours will go beautifully with the shimmer paints and the um, yeah. oxides. It's just a question of just dusting it over just gently, yeah. isn't it? So everything's working. The oxides, the paints that have now sold out, uh, the lovely inks as well, the drawing inks, um, and the glitter kiss now. Um, this is so easy to use, isn't it? I mean, you just it's just got the applicator. Yep, you it's got an applicator. Uh, uh, I think yeah, I think that they've been open this morning, so yeah, yeah, go lid yeah. off, lid off. <laughs> I it's just want to put my finger right in there, on, but I'm not going to. <laughs> no, I had to this morning because mine was so dry that there because I'd um, not. A little tip is that when you've been when you're using it, when you 
before you put it away just get your spray bottle and spray a little bit of water on the top okay. and it keeps it nice and moist because you don't you yeah. might not use it regularly every day yeah um, and you don't want it to I think you say a little tip is never put your finger in it yeah, right? no no you just yes because it'll those, never come off they, they, that's it you got, no, will. You got uh, oh be all right don't waste no. all of your tissues okay. no no I've got You're one fine. thank you no You're no it's fine. all right no okay. it's my fault I got into this mess <laughs> there you go <laughs> There we are. But it's good. You'll but enjoy they are, that. They are what we call luscious. <laughs> mm, yeah, too right. Okay, Francois, what did you want to show us? This is the snakeskin folder. So this is the snakeskin folder, which mm. I'm going to use um, to actually do a little bit uh, of a technique similar to the kissing technique with student stamps, but this time I'm using the texture of the embossing folder. Yeah. So um, I'm going to use, I suppose, what you would say the reverse of it. So it's the debossed. Yeah. I get the technical term yeah, right. Yeah, too right. That's how it's designed yeah. to be, isn't so it? So that's the that's that's the emboss side. Yeah. So I'm going to use the deboss side. Yeah, this is a lovely, lovely example there. That's the emboss, and then we're using this side now. We're using that side, Emboss. and you can see where I've already started sort of to use it okay. um, for my demonstration. It's very bright. So that's a bright white card, isn't it? Yeah, creative expression. So, so that's that. that actually, oh, you can see bright. the difference. Yeah, that's, that's the white. That's yeah. coconut. Coconut white. So yeah. um, I love both of those mm, equally. Yeah, nice. I have to say they're Coconuts both brilliant, like brilliant wedding, cards. Wedding station. Right? Okay, so yeah, coconut's slightly more creamy. Mm. So I'm going to use. Oh, let's go for a bit. We'll go for a bit of blue, blue and brown together. So um, I'm going to go to my set of uh, stamps with the single butterflies silhouettes again, but this time they've got little flowers and little bits coming off. Um, them which is really pretty so ink up your stamp really well with your distress oxides mm -hmm. okay the beauty of these is is that you can see whether your coverage is really good it's harder funny enough with the black to actually see because oh, the stamp is itself uh, yeah. yeah so for some reason you I don't know why but you with the black you didn't see it as much so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off some of the ink on here so press it down on your ink and you can oh. already see the texture yeah on the it's stamp. removed it so this is just our stamping yeah. off uh, area here yeah. okay and then I'm going to go across my card now I'm doing a very little card because sometimes we don't want to send big cards we just want a quick little card mm. that we can send to a friend to say thank you or just to say you know or can thinking of you whatever. yeah oh. so that's the texture oh, that you get designs as well Look isn't it well. it's really pretty oh, it's lovely to get an example of because we, we've looked at the actual stamps but these dotty areas the swirls that you've added the florals the in inny and outy areas yes they're really nice butterflies these Yeah, we've we've got a few of our favourite stamps at home, are butterfly stamps, and we we don't own anything like these. These are really nice. So there you go. Really something, pretty. Really something pretty. for you to get. Yeah. Your stash. Most certainly. So I'm going to come off again, and beautiful. So that's with the broken china, which we've got on today, and I should really have been good and oh, had my stamping yeah, mat oh, no, stamping and I could feel yeah. the difference because it was really hard pressing down yeah. so folks don't do like I'm doing yeah, <laughs> which is not yeah. to use the mat make What's sure you use your mat don't do as I say don't do no do as I say don't do as <laughs> I do I'm sure there's a better way of saying it I'm sure whoever said it to me made it sound better whatever their name was okay a teacher. so for the next one I'm going to use the vintage photo so I, I love the combination of blues and browns yeah. together. It's really nice. Yeah, they are two colours that should be seen more, actually, shouldn't they? Yeah, right. like gold and turquoise, blue and brown. It's not so important for this bit to be on the mat because we're just removing a bit of the ink. And then I'm going to overlap the butterflies. You would need the uh, snakeskin embossing the folder, folder. Uh, to be getting this effect today. And it's an 8 by 8 embossing folder along with the brambled rose, isn't it? Yeah, you get yes, both. Yes, yeah. yeah. I haven't tried this technique with the bramble rose. It's a bit more of an open folder, so I don't yeah. know. It works um, better with the yeah. You yeah. want the, you want lots of detail, don't you? Yes, you do. Yeah. Especially for smaller stuff. Like yeah. Let's put a bit more in the middle of the butterfly.
same. And oh, it's decisions, really. Decisions. I think I'll go for one there. But you need something, don't you? Up. Oh no, unless it, no, it's done. That's complete. That's, that's, that's it. That's balanced. So, yeah. because we're going to, I've, I've made a little wording to go on the front of the card. Okay. And a little bit of ribbon. Oh, that's good. Okay, so... This is how quick this is. And most people who know me from my samples will know that I don't generally do quick cards. You really? You get full <laughs> because you I can get see carried from away. The, yeah, see, I, I love them, using yeah. all the products yeah. and so I tend to do lots of layering, lots of um, yeah. added, added bits. Um, lots so, of elements going on, lots of products going on, embossing, yeah. embossing powders. So I don't want to cover my butterflies too much so I'm going to put it up here and I'm going to put a little bit of ribbon down the bottom. It's a nice little sentiment that works for this as well. When we follow our joy, we shine like a bright star. Which is very true, actually. We yeah. are happier when we're doing what we want to be doing. Yeah. Follow your passions. Do what makes you happy. OK. I should have borrowed your finger to do the bow. Oh, I could have done, yeah, yeah. But it, I think I've, it's just about don't there. Worry. For our purposes, yeah. Yeah, for our purposes, it'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I then I'm just going to add down. a few little gems. This is finishing touches that can make a project as well, aren't they? So your gems or your pearls or your dazzlers. Because you've got little flowers oh, in nice. the images. And the butterflies as well. It's quite nice to actually put the gems in those. Oh, Penny sent us another email now. She says she's now bought the butterfly set and <laughs> she wants to reproduce everything that she's seen. She's really enjoyed the show. So thank you, Penny. Thank you very much for your Brilliant. So that's a lovely little card, yeah. and that's the other one that I made originally, so we can look at both oh, of those. Yeah, let's see both. This is the one that we just made live. Um, love the simplicity of it. I mean, we adore all of your samples, yeah. Francoise, when you go to town and mix everything up. But look at that. A really nice quick make to sell or make to give uh, as a little tag or a, or a slightly smaller card. Right. Uh, it's such an interesting technique, that stamping off using that snakeskin embossing folder, or at least the deboss area uh, of that snakeskin embossing folder that's available in the pair. And then here's the other one. Might I show that one as well? Yes, is that right? yeah. Lovely design of the butterflies, Francoise. That, those are areas where you can stick the gems as well. Yeah. So you stuck them on the little flowers before, but this time the flower's on the inside of that butterfly. Right. So really wherever really you nice. can see a little flower, you can put a mm. little gem. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, if you just want to send somebody a quick little card, mm. you know, if they've been a bit down, you know, yeah. Yeah. try and follow something inspire them to uh, yeah. feel better. Always worth it, isn't it? <laughs> Always worth it. You never know how grateful that other person will be yeah. for hearing from you or hearing from anybody for that matter. Yeah. It's nice. It's really nice. Sometimes. And literally, you know, all days like what that. has it taken me? About five minutes? Yeah. To make a, a lovely little card? Yeah, but it makes such a difference and it's the time that you've put into making it as well. Mm. Just that and little five, ten minutes. And if you want to use, uh, you know, your offcuts, sometimes these are, sometimes I trim down a card. I've got a very tall card and I trim off a little bit mm. and I don't want to throw it away. You know, us crafters, we don't throw yeah, things away. Yeah, yeah. It's not um, our problem, really. So this is a nice way of sort of using up mm. all these little scraps. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you very much, Francois. It's lovely. So, um, so, yeah, this is the big bundle as well. There's a freedom price on it uh, so you can save. It's thirty four ninety seven if you're not with freedom but if you are and you have got freedom you can save even more than your five pounds uh, and you can get that for uh, a saving today 3147 including delivery uh, order now it's 286515 uh, is your item number to get all 16 um, stamps um, from as we've got about it's one of those situations where we've got about nine or ten minutes left on the okay, show well, I've got, I have got a, a very sort of quick uh, demo okay. because we haven't talked about uh, the inks the drawing we so I've, yeah. I, I can I'll give, give you, you a, a quick demo yeah. of those yeah, and yeah. then that's all um, finish. 
right. finish things up. Nice one. We can give you a quick moment to get reset for that. Good. Us. Lovely. No problem. Um, so you've got your stamps. Uh, if you want to grab hold of your stamps, that's fine. But your glitter kiss as well uh, is there. Uh, this is specifically chosen by Francois, who's demonstrating for us today, to work colourway wise with everything else that you've got. Uh, lavender and ice blue are your two colours. Basically, it just gives a nice dusting of glitter on the top of any project. 446967 uh, is your item number. And then the shimmer paints, one of those sets has already sold out, but we do have this set remaining. Uh, sky, violet, pink plum, and pearl are still there. However, we are approaching limited stock on them. So the other set is gone. Eek, they're going to oh, 595-119. Um, and then just one more picture, because we're ready to go with our drawing inks now. It's the stencils, uh, and you get four different designs on, on two of the stencils. So it's kind of like you've got nine stencils in one pack for 10.99 plus delivery. Also designed by Francoise to go with the other designs today. Uh, you've got all of them there, triple zero, six, five, nine. Um, we love these drawing inks, Francoise. I'm glad we've okay. got time to talk about them. Okay, so um, they're quite an unusual product mm. in that um, it's sort of almost like a ready-to-go product, yeah. okay? Because um, when you get it, just shake it okay. to mix up the ink. Some of them have just got plain colours and some others have got mica and you'll be able to tell the difference Ooh. because you've got that uh, mica sitting in the in the, yeah, in the bottom of the, the bottle I'll and I'll obviously if you shake it I'll choose the mica one look yeah, at that you can see the mica yeah. so you can shake it and mix up the the mica right, inside. I'm going to spin it now don't panic don't panic we're just going to spin it a little bit okay. ready three <laughs> two one Whoa. look at that yeah, so it mixes in a little, little storm Oh, I'm having fun here. Yeah, look, there, it's swirling around. Okay. Really cool. So it mixes in the goodies, the, the good, goodies, good, the yeah. good stuff. Yeah. Um, Let me knock this over. 